How's it? Hello and welcome to Star Wars News and Weekly <laughs> Comic Recap presented by Tales from the Dark Side. This week, we're covering the new comic release, Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 15, and another Star Wars one-shot for Loman Zuckus. We go to class <laughs> for some deep thinking about potential new series molded after Star Wars, but not Star Wars. Fair game or out of bounds? Remember... The large font blue box Funko Pops from two weeks ago? Probably not. We'll have an update next week. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you tired of the same old vacation? Beaches, water parks, roller coasters? If you have the credits, some Star Wars has the solution. Star Wars has a solution, but it is but is it worth the cost? Lastly, we'll look at Bad Batch episode 15. Return to Camino. What what we still don't know, and may not until season two. Let's get it. All right, as you noticed, uh, it was a little bit different. Unfortunately, Jedi Johnson is not able to join us. Uh, prayers go out to him and our thoughts. Obviously, we tried to do an intro. His intro. I probably did a horrible job, but it was the best. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. I thought that was pretty spot on. Good. Uh, that was good. Good. You lost in the middle when you realized we weren't doing his segment. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. We had his segment in there at all. So we'll, he's going to be coming back on. Everything's um, Hopefully everything will go well for his family and stuff like that. But we definitely miss him. We miss him. And he's our family over here. So, you know, it's uh, tough to not have him. But we're going to do the best we can. As he put it down there, as it goes over, we are going to do comic reviews. We're also going to talk about that. What do we? Oh, this is Shannon, by the way. Shannon, say hi. Hello. Uh, yep. Uh, for those people that remember Shannon from past episodes, it was Rebels. Yeah. Rebels. All right, there we go. Um, rebel, rebel. Either way, we uh, we're going to do comic reviews. After comic reviews, we're going to talk about maybe a little bit of vacation spots because we're on vacation. So we're going to try to spend your money on a vacation too. Is it mm -hmm. worth it or is it not? We also got uh, we've got two forms now. Look. Cranking my gears, Jedi and JJ decided that it was too – well, I decided it was too long of a – of a whatever topic. Right. So they decided to shorten it down. So we have a new segment. It's the same segment, but it's a new segment. We also have – we're going to have two portions from JJ. So we're also going to have Odds in a Trap. We got Bad Batch Review. Am I forgetting anything, guys? Oh, pickups because I always forget pickups. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Solo, since you're so excited, they better be Star Wars or you get muted. Let's see what you got in pickups. <laughs> I, I have so many Star Wars, I won't even show the other good ones that I got. Um, score a nice little legacy love. Nice. Yeah. Well, there you go. For a great price. Uh, Princess Leia number one. Jay Scott. Oh, Princess Leia, the Sky Young. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. little Sky Young. Oh, nice. All right. Gotta love that. Uh, picked up a couple of just nonchalant legacies. Good stuff. And then uh, I picked up a whole giant stack of the oh, 40s. Uh, anniversary. Yeah. You, yeah. you get a, people of, always overlook that Darth Maul one. Yeah, the, yeah, bunch of really good ones in there. And I mean hmm. he had he had a stack. They were you know four bucks a piece and shout out to Jesse James. Thanks, buddy. That worked good. Hmm. Good stuff. All right, what's going on, Comic Man Andy? Ruben, good to see you. Everybody over there at Vision, make sure you're giving us a thumbs up. Make sure you're also giving us a thumbs up on Tails. Astro, good to see you, man. Who else we got there? Dave? Yeah, yeah. And I saw somebody else. Oh, Joe. Joe mentioned Pete's auction. Pete is on Whatnot. Make sure you're checking him out on the old Whatnots. He just got done with a pretty good auction for why here. Yeah. Pete, did you have any pickups? No, no. I was busy worried about selling to my Whatnot, so I don't have that much to show off. JJ. All right. What's going on, Eric? All right. So first we'll start off with the old school. We mentioned this Ooh, a couple weeks ago. Nice. So I got a nice copy of Droids number two with uh Oh dude, I love that copy. Was that uh was it Vix on card and uh right. the other guy's <laughs> name I don't remember now. <laughs> that is so nineties cover too. Like it's got I know. That, uh, blue and then it's got that purplish. And like R2 D2 is not R2 D2 colored. Yeah. I always thought was kind of weird. It's like, oh yeah, it looks like a mystery. He's orange, apparently. Um then picked up he some. He is getting shot, though. That's true. Top man cave. 
Got some Star Wars adventures, so you just to pick these uh, up surprisingly cheap. Yeah, as nice. important as that book kind of is, and that's then, a good book. Yeah, it's really yeah. important book. Got another one in ten variant. So sorry about the gloss or glare. Yeah. They're they're uh, on to them in my area. Those things aren't sitting around anymore. Yeah, they're hard to find, but I can still pick them up every so often. But usually it's like ratio price or higher. Got the uh, the Comic Con mm. variant in finally. Oh, is that yeah. as ugly as it looks? It it's weird. It looks like a like a I don't know a hat, uh, Sesame Street like poison ivy cover or something. It's Hold very it up one more time. <laughs> it's very like <laughs> colorful and like like they're supposed to be in real danger, but it looks like happy flowers everywhere and stuff. It's kind of weird. It's like, oh, ha, 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 they're in a ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> they're being died. They're being killed by drink gear. That is. Um, so this came with it. I don't know why, but we got one of those comic packs. Nice. Oh, I got a, I had that I got a transformer guy. one with mine. Did you? Yeah, yeah so I guess they were throwing mini micro packs in with everything. Mm-hmm. I got a Star Wars one, and this was the guy inside. Star Wars one, nice. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, copy of Star Wars one. Um, picked up this guy. This is actually my second copy of this one, but oh no, nice. GameStop Vader number one cover. So first black K. That was nice to have. Um, picked up another one of these. So nice yeah. copy. Ooh, Inquisitors nice. action there, and Darth Vader six. Um, Screaming Citadel. This is always a nice variant to have. I was like this. I think this is yeah, the one in twenty five. Alpha one, yeah. Yeah, I always liked it. It's a better cover in my opinion. It is. I agree. Agreed. And then uh, they I did, did a really jo- bad job with her. Not Afro, the uh, screaming Citadel. The yeah. what's her name? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. The whole series, that one shot, I should say, was a little weird. But it wasn't bad, but they just kind of went a weird direction. Anyways, um, got this guy. So this is the Hyperspace Club book. So with the Star Wars Tales number six cover on it, they didn't hmm. use a regular cover. The so. Hamlet cover. Yep. Nope. Well, to be or not to be action there, and this guy, I might come tell everybody why it's a little more important later on, but I don't think I've shown it off yet. It actually came in a couple weeks ago, but oh. Um, <laughs> so this is actually a free Comic Book Day comic. Yeah. In uh, Germany, I think it was. Right. But there's an important comic inside there that maybe we'll go over later of why it's important first, but. All right, we done. Good, good stuff, as usual. Good stuff, JJ. That's great. Uh, who did I miss? I missed somebody. Sacred Tax. It's good to see you. Good to you see you. You don't have any pickups, Marco? No, I'm. Um, no. You got Shannon. Can you oh, pick yeah. up Shannon and show <laughs> Shannon? <laughs> I did go to. I if you watch, if you're from Renovision, you watch the Wednesday show. You notice that I did go to a comic book store that sold no comic books. So. <laughs> I mean, like, what do you do at that point? I, you can't just pick anything up. I did pick up some on the way up. I'll probably pick up some on the way down. But, uh, yeah, it just was a store with no comic books. So that conversation went very well. Uh, all right. First up. Let's get, huh? That's criminal. <laughs> it was bad, man. Let's get into it. Uh, comic book reviews. We didn't stop. We didn't miss it. We got it. Here we go. First off, Four Loam and Zuckus. This is the week where we had Four Loam and Zuckus, and we all said the Bounty Hunters. It actually kind of was crossing over. This was actually probably, I'd say, the best version of the two. I don't know what everybody else thought about it. Maybe it was because there was only two. But when they were doing three or four books, and they were, it seemed like they were rewriting and not crossing over. These two seemed to actually cross over. Um, when we let, left off, Zuckus had been thrown down a pit by Bubba Fett and and Forlom's head had been taken off, used for navigation, and then thrown away. Apparently, a Jawa found Zuckus being thrown down. Da- or no, a Jawa jumps down in a pit because he saw something being thrown down that pit. And Zuckus pretty much died from the bat from the IDW series. Like, I know it's not the same pet bat, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> that actually, I saw this as the start off, and I was like, this isn't going to be that good of a book. I'm going to be disappointed. But I wasn't. Um Zuckus is dead, but not dead. He crawls into some bar and then we get the lemur and we'll get back to the lemur in a little bit, but he talks to this Black little lemur type, this death lemur, I guess, pirate death lemur. Is that, are we good with that? Is that what we're calling him? Pirate yeah. death lemur. Yeah. yeah. Pirate death lemur. It is. Okay. There we go. And then on the right side, he does a little flashback and we get loom pop for some reason. Cause I know now that we put her on a cover and we put her kind of in a comic book. We have to have her in the background or backstory or out. So here we're going with that. She put out pretty much anybody could go and kill this one guy for this bug creature. 
Forlom and Zuckus decide to team up unintentionally slash intentionally. They have their little back to and forth. They actually don't screw the job up for once, which is pretty interesting. Um, and that's mm. how they form their team by shooting Bug Guy. And then they decide to split the reward 50 50. It goes on to the other portion of the story because, as you know, Star Wars comics can't just tell one story. They have to tell two point of view stories from now on. So the other point of view is that Jawa that was jumping into the ditch and he finds Voss's brother, Boss. And Boss just doesn't like to wear shirts out in the sun. So he's just jogging around on a do-back for some reason yeah, why not? with a trash can on his head. I don't know, man. It is what it is. Uh, but then everybody knows what the Jawa has, right? But they somehow keep it covered up like it's going to be some big surprise. Big surprise. It's like a Embo hat. Yeah, so this is kind of funny. The surprise wasn't that it was the head. The surprise was that it was the bug guy that apparently was supposed to be dead, and he's got bandages on him, so he isn't dead, and he's going to use the head for revenge. We get back to the bar where uh, Lemur, for some reason, decides he wants to cut things' arms off all the time. I don't know if that's an inside Star Wars joke that they're telling everybody. Probably, right? Uh, yeah, because yeah, everybody arm. loses an arm. I don't know. Well, no. Yeah, maybe so, that, or it's a callback to Guardians, where Rocket wants people's body parts. And give me that guy's leg. Sell me it's that. Call, it, it's a callback to Sith versus Jedi, where everybody loses a hand. <laughs> and his name is Trot, which I just don't. I mean, I don't know. Anyways, so the Trot Lemur uh, doesn't take the hand because he gets talked down. Everybody calms down. They throw somebody out of the bar, and then for some reason, Zuckus now has like this sixth sense where he can feel forlorn. So he decides to run into the rain <laughs> and he runs into this, which is Zuckus head on Jesus spider body. What is this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ar Arachna lom. They really tried to ruin this. Comic. Like they really did. They tried their best. I don't think they quite did it. Uh, you get a lot of action after that, where Zuckus just kind of chases around while they're blowing up the, the neighborhood the whole neighborhood comes out to form a street gang that's going to take down Forlom. Uh, Zuckus finally says, you know what, I've had enough, and punches him, and that kind of decapitates him for a minute, but then decides he's not going to kill him, that something is going on, and he finds the bug guy that they supposedly had killed earlier. Turns out that that's not the bug guy, it's the bug guy's brother. He actually, the guy they killed was like some nice priest type guy, and this brother set him up. Zuckus Forlom killed him, so he wanted revenge. So Zuckus kills the bug guy. Pops off. The bug guy or the bug guy's brother? Both. Well, the bug guy's brother, he killed. Yeah, they're both the same. So the not good guy, the bad guy that tried to turn good, but then was still bad. That guy. Got too. Yeah, very confusing. Yeah. Yep. So uh, either way, he killed both bugs now. Both bug guys are dead. All red bugs are dead, except for when they bring them back again, because uh, it is Star Wars. So both red <laughs> bug guys are dead. Both brothers. He pops off the head, but even when he pops off the head, uh, Forlom still wants to kill Zuckus. So Zuckus gives up on Forlom and starts to have a pity party while everybody parties around him. Mm. Yeah. So now the book was pretty good, but didn't seem who's great. That, who's you that know, I mean, the uh, Sly Cooper in the background there? The pirate death lemur. Yes, pirate death lemur in the background. Definitely. Uh, Why does he get I did. So, good. People thought this was pretty good. Uh, good. So did, people did, did you this think was... that uh, the regular average non Star Wars type of person would have picked up on a lot of this this book? Like, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that are following War of the Bounty Hunters. Do you think they would have followed like some of the deeper Forlom Zuckus connection that they talked about in here? Or I, I think a lot of people would have missed a lot of the stuff that hey, was Kyle. dropped. I don't yeah. think I think it was a good I think it was a good story even if you didn't know. Oh, I mean I thought it was just a good story no matter what, right? Like, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. a good no, story. I so I think it was like I think Sacred Jedi text said it was kind of fun. Now, yeah. if you read this story after you, the problem with this is is they're not telling you you're supposed to read. I think these one shots first, and it sucks when they did the one shot like the Afro series. Remember that one week they came out with, I think it was Afro and Vader in the same week. Mm -hmm. They came out with Bounty Hunter yeah. and mm -hmm. Star Wars in the same week. That yeah. sucked. They should have done it like this. This is actually how they should have done it. And we were asked this question a couple of weeks ago, and I, I agree 100%. We should, they should have done it this way where they did a one-shot first. 
And this works yeah. really well because it plays into the second book. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, the, the Job of the Hut one shot took place before and after the Alpha book, which the Alpha book was like, what, a month ago? Like, I feel yeah. like. Was yeah, like that, that sucked too. They needed to do it this way. And we'll, we'll show you why this was the better. In my opinion, this was the better way. The next book up was the Bounty Hunter 16. We know we're going to get Death Sticks back. They had one of the covers that J.J. Ariman, the Sprouse cover. I did like, you guys liked those. You liked in real life the. Uh, I Bounty thought they looked covers, good. Right? Yeah, I thought they looked good. It's different. I, like, I'm glad he just didn't do like a one in poster, like Old West style. Like, I'm glad mm. it's like, you yeah. know, futuristic Star Wars looking. But. Yeah, I mean, I thought they were both pretty good. I thought it came out all right. Um, either way, let's get into this one. Here we go. Oh, Don, what's going on? Good to see you, brother. Uh, so we get Death Six right off the bat. Now, they started to get confused because they throw too many people in here. So now they're getting every bounty hunter that's after Valance, every bounty hunter and every clan that is after uh, Dengar, or, um, uh, Dengar. Dengar, Valance, and pretty much then tied into the syndicate is all yeah. in this book. So this is the uh, guild, right? Like the yes. bounty hunter guild. Yeah. yeah, and the guilds. Yeah, so every everything. So I tried to split it up a little bit. We're going to follow... Uh, we're going to follow Valance first. So they're going, this guy following him had nothing to do with the story pretty much in the left corner in the purple outfit. They run into Afra's uh, brother or boyfriend, whatever, whatever, what's his name is. Who knows? Brother, boyfriend. It's going to be another situation. Well, with Luke. <laughs> um, important distinction. Yeah, or X, X something. Either way. No, it's the boyfriend. But um, they get down there. They go to Canto Bite, which they keep bringing up Canto Bite all the time. They go down into the, the bottom level, and all of a sudden, if you remember, um, they're trying to get the ship back because the girlfriend's been kidnapped by the hut somehow, mm. but nobody likes them. Like, nobody at all. I don't I don't even know why Valance is still hanging out to them at this point. They've made... <laughs> They've made him pretty much – Valance is now kind of just taking over. It was like one of those ones where he thought he needed him, but now Valance is taking over the whole storyline and helping everything out. Either way, um, they get back in there, and just as they're about to get into the ship, which is kind of cool because I don't think – JJ, have we seen the ship before in modern – have we seen it in comics, period? Probably never in – I don't think so. Not really in comics. Because I don't – I mean, maybe I if you did, it was really quick, but yeah. I think it was only in the gaming – Either way, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, Destic comes in and starts kicking and blowing stuff up, and <laughs> a little bit back and forth, a little cool fighting. This little fighting at the bottom was cool, but like, still, they don't give a lot about it. Balance did get some good wax in. Uh, in the end, though, we got the card. That's all that really mattered. They did, did do so. This was split throughout, so I split it up into two different stories. The second part of the story, what's his name, Tiso Leach or whatever, the guy that was in. Uh, you too. Hello, Mr. Solo. Yeah. I'm here for what do you say? Hello, Solo. Hi, Solo. What was his Good deal? to see you, T Yeah. Good to see you. If you remember that terrible <laughs> first movie by JJ Abrams, he was in that movie <laughs> and he ended up showing up on the freighter where Solo and Chewbacca was. So they're telling his backstory. He showed I up already. Never had a deal with Conja Club. <laughs> he already showed game. up, I think, in eight. By the way, two boys have been watching a little bit too much TNT today. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it is kind of cool though and once again with the arm cutting off he did cut off an arm here so we got another arm cutting off both comics this week somebody has lost a hand or arm which is it pretty cool like, hardly everyone loses a leg in Star Wars it's always an arm well, it is yeah, we gotta keep <laughs> mobile, you know? yeah. so he's recruiting the <laughs> wife pair for some reason we don't know why yet turns out that they go to this planet this is really cool so this is the planet that Zuckus is from and apparently that little like robe thing that he always wears is technically a chamber because the normal air it like eats him like acid and on his planet it's full of acid and that's how you get yellow man there with his belly oh, yeah. hanging out <laughs> and he's moping about acid. for long. See, this is why it was cool with the one shot, right? Like it, it yeah. kind of just carried mm -hmm. instead of retelling the same thing, it carried over. And this is the first time they've kind of done it with the stories. So they go, all three of them go and recruit him. And then he says he's going to go back at it. He's going to get off uh, and go kill those who killed, because it's a Boba Fett thing, kill those who killed his best friend, Forlom. And that's the end of 16. 
But like I said, I thought they did a great job finally of co- combining the two, right? Like yeah, they in, had it in, in there. All, in all the other War of Bounty Hunters, they just were like telling the story from somebody's point of view. And a lot of times it was telling the exact same portion of the story. Where this, it was like, obvious he's on his own planet already and he just killed his buddy and they put him back to back. I, I really thought they did a good job this week. That was that was the problem with the Vader and the Afro books. Mm. Where when they tied in, like they literally overlapped for like a third of the book. Really? Pretty much the yeah. same. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's well, not sad. You said so now it's here. It's nice to tie it in here and not get the exact or close to the same panels. No, but he said Suckus was sad at the end of the last issue about four lumps, and now we got a Lebowski Thor situation where he let himself go. He just chilling out, <laughs> yeah. and he's really awful. And he's well, just, and he uh, he kind of looks like the little cricket dude for, that hangs out with the rock guy on Thor. Uh, oh, his Meek. name. Yeah, me. He kind of yeah. looks like that, and and I've never seen him not in his suit before. So I thought yeah. that was really cool. And like you were talking about the ammonia ammonia gas that uh, mm-hmm. apparently is suits a big giant ammonia gas chamber. Needs to, needs to balance his pH levels. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope next week they really start getting moving this a little bit further up, and they finally get into the auction or like the end of the auction after Vader showed up, because this is still probably pre all auction. If you if you see the point mm-hmm. of view of where they're coming from, so I think we've had enough at this point, and like let's just get it over. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's, it's kind of time to go here. You, so. see, you can start to see why it's 35 issues and it's not all because it's a perfectly flowing story. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I did like bounty hunters. I, I thought both of these books though were a plus, like a lot better than a lot of other the books they had. Uh, Mojo what's going on. So, I mean, it's good to see that they're starting to hit home runs. I thought both of these were great. I know the chat, a lot of people in the chat thought it was pretty good too. So that's kind of cool. All right, um, and that uh, you- quick highlight there. Ruben is reminding us that Steve's mini comic is up to 162. Yeah, last Marco. week, 162. He- oh, it's got to be yeah, ending. and it should yeah. be it ending- should be up. He posted it after the show, right? So it should be up. In- yeah, Same. no, during. Yeah. Oh, it was no, during. He- yeah, he did during the show, so we should have. Do we? Hey, uh, Ruben, can we get an update on how much time we have left on that? Uh, let me see if I can look real quick. Either way. Above what I thought was good go for, I should have about 1120. Good stuff on Steve. Make sure you're checking out my com- <clears throat> my bargain comics. Up next week, we've got High Republic. Oh, for the love of God, can we just... It, you know, I well, I looked at the preview on this, and it said part three of the Dang Gear Wars, and I'm just like, there is some cool stuff in here. There mm-hmm. is a... Uh, a hut uses a wrist rocket, which, whatever. There's a good spread, though. It will be an okay book. Uh, for next week, do you get more Orla Jala? Is it Jahani? Jahani. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of well, do we? Yeah. Did you? Well, see she's on the preview? cover. There's no, a lot of Jedi the in before. there, though. I'll tell you this: there's a full spread where there's a bunch of Jedi in there, and some weird looking ones, some cool ones. I just didn't want to spoil it all. Just, Check it out. Yeah. There's there's a there's it. definitely a good, a good uh, cross section panel, like a two page panel that they have up in it. Plus, the variant looks a lot better. Mm. It, you know, if they do one more cover with the Drain Gear and what's her name on it, I mean, it might <laughs> yeah, be every book. True. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I actually like the red cover probably the best, but we'll see how the yeah. red comes out. Marble Rub can ruin that real quickly. All right. The Monster and Devil's Peak is also coming out next week. I think that's the one we're looking more forward to. Yes. You know, it's Calvin Scott. It's what he does, that like horror type of stuff. So it's a um, York. And then, yeah, Ty York, we're getting our firsties. Is it her firsties again? Or is it still her firsties? I think it's her first in comics. Yeah, I thought they'd try to push her out before that, but I don't think they had. No, she hasn't. Uh, uh, FOC, now we're focusing on the guy. Have you, you know, have you picked up JJ in these books? They've kind of been mentioning it's bone, and they kind of mentioned it might be a helmet slash mat. You know what I mean? It's, have you caught that? It's got a, it looks like it, and it's got a, I mean, it looks like um. The armor that crate wears. Crate war. Yeah. The last I mean, that's what it looks like to me. It looks so last, similar. Yeah, the last book they said something about it. I didn't remember if they mm-hmm. called it a mask or a helmet, but they mm-hmm. or a face guard or something. But they kind of have been hinting at it. So I wonder if uh, I think doesn't. I can't remember the race now, but crate takes that armor is like a the ancient Smiles. armor of like a warrior a w- yeah. warrior race or something, isn't it? Yeah, it's not his. Not his original. Right. It's the original mask. All right, cool stuff. That's FLC. Also, we got this Bloodtooth, Bloodhound, Bloodhound, Toothhound. 
Hound's Tooth. Hound's Hound Tooth. Tooth. Is it Hound's Tooth? I think. Hound's yeah, Tooth Hound's is it. Tooth. We're gonna get uh, the first. The that's cool because we're gonna get that on a cover, which I think is pretty good when you're looking at um, bounty hunters and you are looking at their ships. You know what so I would bad, like to right? see for a cover, like a variant series. One. They do all these variant series. I like to see like a ship design cover. Like a full on one? Yeah, you know how they do the design covers for the characters? Mm -hmm. For like a ship. Oh. The same thing? I like that stuff. It's, it looks like the Winnebago from Spaceballs. I can't remember if it's Eagle <laughs> 5 or Eagle 1. Yeah. Yes, it does. Not, not, not it really. Does it's like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it's it does a little like, bit. So they're doing a really bad job. I don't know what's going on with Afra and the droids. They do say she's going to run into somebody super dangerous, but that's what they say every single time. I assume it's Darth Vader. And then as somebody pointed out, uh, Bale. Uh, oh, creeper. Billy Bale is looking pretty <laughs> creepy there. Uh, I don't know. Just when you thought Sprouse was like turning is the it, corner on some of these covers. I, it's supposed to be, is it Senate? Is that what the cover is theme is? Senators, I think. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. supposed to be Senators. Which only has two. <laughs> but okay. Yep. Okay, enough said about that. There you go. All right. <laughs> quietly thinking, I'm going to take your kid. <laughs> uh, also on the FOC coming up, we've got two decent covers. Um, what? Who was the one that brought up the variant to me? Me. Yeah, what did you say it was? The opposite of Liefeld. Yeah, because you can draw foot. feet. <laughs> <laughs> the foot's like the main part of the cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very 90s action. I'll give you that. But like the foot actually is very detailed. So that's actually kind of a cool cover. Both covers look pretty good. Yep. Do we have anything on her, JJ? Were we going to bring up anything about her? I thought we were going to bring up something about her, but maybe not. Uh, I don't. Yeah, we talked about something, but we'll, we'll get something on it. We'll get something on her later. All right. Sounds good. That's good for that. All right. Up next, we've got uh, – he's wearing a skull. All right. Up next, we have got – what do we have next, guys? Oh, i got to go back to the list. Snyder Cut. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Me. So, as usual, JJ, what is the name of the new segment we're doing, Thanks to Jedi? Uh, this is JJ's School of Thought. Okay. JJ's JJ's school. We've shortened it up. We, we, we cleared it up a little bit. It's no longer – a title that I can't even remember from last week because it was so long. <laughs> Crankers, Jankers, cranking my staff. Or I don't know, whatever, man. Yeah. So you're gonna get us um, in trouble if you keep trying to come up with. Yeah. Something. Yeah. You're gonna say something minute. you're not supposed to. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna have to use my phone here because I can't see these slides. So. All right. Um. So school of thought. Let's go to the next slide. Should we be fixing what isn't broken? I think this is broken, but okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I got the headlines here I pulled from the past week or so. Actually, this goes back a little bit longer because this has been a rumor. I don't know if it, does anybody remember the rumor that he was going to do like a Darth Bane film? I had totally forgotten about this, but it came about like last year. Yeah. 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 So yeah, apparently Snyder was going to do a Darth Bane film, and that I I guess that was his pitch that he's talking about. So, but he's totally he, going to no, do no, no. It can't be his pitch because I found out what his pitch is. It's terrible. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, I was a shock, but. <laughs> <laughs> in which way the the gist of it is the news right now at least is that Zack snyder pitched a star wars film and nobody liked it at lucasfilm so now he's doing his own version of said star wars film that's going to be like a star wars film but not a star wars film so it's called rebel moon and it's part of his netflix film deal um but uh let's hit the next slide we'll, we'll go over a little bit of how successful zach's movies have been <laughs> i'm trying and i'm really trying not to slam them too hard here but like uh, um, some of them yeah i mean and look they weren't all bad like i really liked 300 i liked was, watchmen. watchmen he did a was, great job with see, like, i don't i was in between on watchmen like i actually liked the watchmen show better than i did the movie oh, cool, really? actually is I it the, is it the blue is it the is it the <laughs> male frontal nudity that you had an issue with in that one or? it was the awkward use of hallelujah in the Oh uh, yeah, when they're yeah, the love making <laughs> Hollywood. Kind of that was a little weird. But yeah. Any which way, so by the way, did not know until I did this that he did the Legends of the Guardian movie. He was like the director and producer for that. Oh, so that that one didn't do so well at Bach Office or critically. I didn't know. Oh, that. wait a second. That's the owl one. I thought it was the one about all like the Easter bunny and the Santa yeah. animated. No, I like that one. I want to yeah. bring up this I, I want to bring up this one, this comment when you're done with this, because yes. I'm gonna tell you what it's about. 
Yeah, Shannon knows too. It's not good. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Next right. up. So, yeah, just going over his movies real quick. We all remember how great Batman versus Superman was, and that totally, you know, got everybody super interested in the DCEU yeah. or ruined it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so basically i just want to go over real quick everybody kind of knows his movies um we'll, we'll go to the next slide and the one i have a problem with and is the here in the next slide so there was obviously dawn of the dead right mm-hmm. it was a Zack snyder movie which was yeah. a remake of of course the uh george romero film right so now yeah. we got him basically with army of the dead and i didn't watch army of the dead in all fairness but i heard mixed reviews on it you got him remaking a remake that he already made, more or less. Remaking his own remake. <laughs> remaking his own remake, which was weird to me. Like that was his first part of his Netflix. Which I don't even know how long his Netflix mm-hmm. film deal is, but too long. <laughs> but Sucker Punch is his like one original movie that he had, like where he apparently wrote it from scratch originally and all that. And visually, I thought that was a great movie, but like story wise and uh, mm-hmm. pacing and. Um, just writing in general, like terrible, yeah. <laughs> awful film, yeah. not very well received. And, you know, that's what scares me I about him doing movie, anything original or new. But I but, went into that movie totally expecting the worst thing ever. So when I yeah. saw it, I was just like, it, it's kind of like when you sit down to watch Zombievers, you're not yeah. going in there for anything other than cult fan fiction favorites you know what i mean like you know it's gonna be bad like, so you're there to see and enjoy how bad it is yeah, but has, right. has, he, has he made a movie you want to watch in the movie theaters or pay a premium to watch oh. on vod so far like i've watched his movies in the, like i went and watched yeah. i remember i went and watched sucker punch in the movie theater. 300 no but did, yeah but did you want to watch it did you want to watch it because that was a waste of money did you waste your money watching sucker punch yes yep. that's what that yeah was. yeah well, I could also go on a rant of horrible movies I've been dragged to in the movie theaters going into M. Night Shyamalan, <laughs> but that's a whole other rant. For oh, a whole nother yeah, thing. I think it happens all of us. He hasn't, he hasn't made a Star Wars reimagining movie yet, so I won't go <laughs> yeah, into that. that. That's, that's a rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> but so let's get into the on the next slide here. This is the actual movie he's going to make, which is Rebel Moon. It's going to be on Netflix. It's one of his Netflix originals, which to me, like the whole reason we slammed Abrams, well, not the whole reason. There's many reasons, but one of the reasons was the kind of the the rehashing that was Force Awakens is yeah. that it wasn't very original. Yeah. So here you got Zack Snyder is going to give us a failed Star Wars pitch from a Kurosawa inspired movie, which, by the way, Star Wars was already Kurosawa inspired. Yeah. Uh, and apparently we're going to get that from Zack Snyder and it's going to be on Netflix. Yeah. So you know what he's doing? You know what? You know what Star Wars story and what Kurosawa story he's doing. I haven't read any of his preview or pitch. Seven or Samurai. Seven. He's doing Seven Samurai, which you want to know why they rejected it? Because oh shit, they did Seven Samurai already like three times. Yeah, like, <laughs> but it's a matured version. Yeah, we've yeah. got the old west version. You got right. the space version. You got the, yeah, like, I mean it. like. No, but like I mean, Star Wars in itself—they've redone it already three times. They did it in Mandalorian. They did it already in yeah. uh, Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. Okay, they've even written it before. Like, yeah, I, no duh, that didn't pass the stink test. And like, okay, good luck, man. Just throw some <laughs> squirting blood. And, yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, like, whatever. Yeah, yeah right. Hidden Fortress was kind of yeah, Joe. Hidden Fortress was. Kind was, of New Hope, but it yeah. wasn't exactly elements, New Hope. Elements of New Hope. Yeah, no, no, no. This guy, from what I hear, it, it's it's literally it's literally Seven Samurai. So we're gonna get the Magnificent Seven, mm-hmm. yeah, which exactly. is what he pitched when the Magnificent Seven, the the new Magnificent Seven hit theaters, and he's pitching Lucas at that time. We should do the Seven Samurai, and mm-hmm. Lucas is saying we did it in Clone Wars already, and there's a movie out called The Magnificent Seven. Wink, wink. It's literally the Seven Samurai. <laughs> like <laughs> and he got he got so much steam from the Snyder Cut stuff, and you know, right. props to him. I don't mind. Well, I kind of do mind the marketing that self that much, but like <laughs> I, I can avoid it when it's like the Snyder Cut, and I didn't even think the Snyder Cut was that good, but I can avoid all that. But now it's like lapsing into Star Wars, and there's articles like you noticed from a couple of those headlines I pulled earlier, where it's like, oh, you know, here's what is going to be great about it. It could even be better than Star Wars, or it could fix Star Wars. I'm like. Yeah. Like if you go to the last slide there, I don't think we need anything to fix Star Wars. We got a lot of good original content coming up. Like 
I don't need Zack Snyder's version of Star Wars that didn't make the cut, and now he wants to make his own cut on Netflix because they gave him a bunch of money to make a bunch of movies right. that nobody wants to watch yeah. in the theater. Good, good job, all those people that overhyped that uh, that Snyder cut thing. Good job. Yeah. So. Now we get this. <laughs> well, it was just by comparison. You know, <laughs> like he had a very low bar set for what he had to do. His bar he set low. He beat it because he took a year. I'm not even did, talking about the bar. He I'm just saying general. Like the bar's already low. Then it was lowered how, by what Whedon did to his movie. <laughs> and then I don't. I set a high bar. Then he's gonna reach it. Yeah. You know? No, I, I get it. But like, what's he gonna do? Like when it comes out and some people are like, "Hey, bro, like you took the Magnificent Seven and just did it, but not as good as they did it on Clone Wars." Yeah, and he's gonna be like, but, "Nah, bro, I did Seven Samurai, just not as good." Right. But it's because, but it's because, but it's because, and then ten years from now, he's gonna re-release it on Hulu as uh, add another two hours. Yeah, the to Snyder it. Cut add two hours to it. And, oh, I it's so much better. See. Yeah, the technology changes in ten years, dude. And if you've mm. got a whole year on top of what you already have, and the internet to tell you what you did wrong, you can pick and choose some of the stuff that was garbage. With it, so. And again, it's the adding it's in of like the guy. right. Adding in of like the core of Saba, like th- again, this stuff Star Wars has already done. Like I, I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. But, well, and how yeah. is he going to pull this off without just getting the absolute, you know what, suit out of him? <laughs> I mean, oh, he's there. Well. He's not dropping lots lightsabers in there. Boy, there's well, a lawsuit. He'll he's use his Netflix it, money yeah. and they'll they'll change it just enough. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, it's going to be like the carnival where they sell. Uh, laser swords. Yeah, laser Death swords. Sticks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sun sword. Okay, that's already taken. The sun Hannah sword. Barbera owns that yeah. one, so can't go there. Like Dwayne, <laughs> Dwayne said. <he's> in- <laughs> Dwayne it's Scott's not- comments gold. It's yeah. Not it's, gold. Uh, yeah, sorry. Add an extra samurai. And you're good. <laughs> he's going <laughs> to... Doomsday samurai is coming in there. We're set. <laughs> No, that's what yeah, it is. It's going to be it's, instead of uh, uh, it's it's literally the seven samurai. It's going to be a woman's going to go, <coughs> who's in a town is going to go out and recruit a bunch of um, traveling warriors, Ronins, to help save her town. As long as we don't have a jar of piss worked in as part of a sub storyline into the story, <laughs> I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Space Wars, <laughs> Joe. Space Wars. Space Wars. Yeah. As long as we don't have Jesse Eisenberg playing some villain. I, just, I would rather see. Ball. I'd rather see Spaceballs too. If you're going to yes. waste your time doing something, give us yeah, Spaceballs. Like, I think that's what everybody really wants is a yeah. little Spaceballs yeah, too. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, I do. <laughs> Agree. It's, it's not a rant against like remakes, but it's just the kind of like the pretentiousness of like my Star Wars will be better than the original Star Wars, and it's it's going to be awesome, even though it's exactly like yeah. the original star wars yeah it would I, I get this probably should go back to gearing my crank and grinding my gears or whatever the topic was last <laughs> week <laughs> yeah this was a little harsher than even last week was <laughs> what was that it was longer last week whatever no, it was, was, I was harsher i was i was harsher on them i know but i think one. like this is one where it's like just because you got i i mean you can't i it, we're gonna get into it when we get in, into the next segment too at disney and like the fandom and because it's become more popular, there's so much stuff out there now that you hear. And one of those things now is these people going like, yeah, you're going to make – no, no. Like even when – dude, you know what the worst mistake in Star Wars was? And people are going to kill me on this. But like the worst mistake was George Lucas trying to redo Star Wars. Yeah. Like he should have never touched – like yeah, leave I'm it not, alone. Okay, J.J. Abrams, we, we, we write that one off. That's straight trash. But like I mean like mistake-wise, like we had something and we shouldn't have touched it. He shouldn't have touched them. And I get why he, what he's trying to do, but we need to learn from that mistake. <laughs> and apparently Snyder hasn't. Like, apparently Snyder thinks like... You gotta, you gotta highlight Joe's comment there. What do you say? <laughs> he would be happier if Snyder said he wanted to use the three amigos as the basis for the story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now That's we're talking. <laughs> I can't remember the dance. You've got <laughs> my money. I'm at the theater for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go. I'm going. Cousin. That's it. That's got us all back. We don't need no stinking lightsabers. <laughs> you know, the sad know. part is like people are probably going to uh, forget about this the week after it comes out. Oh, sure. It's, it's going to be a bunch of, you know, you're going to see a bunch of clickbait videos. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's good. Th- th- here it goes. Here it goes. Next week, everybody, your YouTube's going to be. Catherine Kennedy scared for her job because Snyder's going to take over all of Star Wars and mm-hmm. fix uh, the crap fest that was the Abrams movie. No, I mean, it's not going to happen, but like that's what the, everybody's going to say. And then in two weeks, it's out the door, and everybody even forgot about this thing. So, yeah. hopefully, Give me something Filoni, decent. I'm going to forget Snyder. That's what. Yeah, yeah. Filoni's, Filoni's going to be. 
Filoni's going to be Snyder's new employee. Yep, that's it. <laughs> He's going to rule everything. The sad Filoni, part is Filoni I to love... take over Kathleen Kennedy's position and then Snyder to take over Filoni's <laughs> position. You know, they're just moving it all up. Oh, I wish I was here so we could do a giveaway of what, what the headline would be and we take the top five headlines of what is going to be the five, five trolling headlines for next week from this is going to be like like uh dave decides to kick Catherine and snyder comes in dresses superman to save all of star wars yes. click okay good um yeah no that's what we're saying justin it's uh that's what we're at this point we're just throwing out pretty much clickbait trash yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean and that's kind of what it is too i mean yeah, five years now, Joe. It's every day. So either way, I mean, I, the sad part is I love all of Kurosawa's stuff, and I like even the bad versions of the remake of Seven Samurai. Mm -hmm. And even the bad remakes of the Magnificent Seven that they redid that were terrible, too. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to watch this piece of trash, and I'm probably going to like it. But I'm not going to be happy about it. I'm not going to say it fixed Star Wars. Okay, <laughs> that's what I do. Right. Fair enough. Is that fair? Fair. All right. Hey, we got 60 in the chat or 60 in live stream. I really appreciate it, guys. If you could give a thumbs up, make sure if you're on Run Vision or Tales and you're not subscribed on either channel, subscribe on either one. And then whoever's sitting next to you, are you subscribed? Subscribe. Make sure they're subscribed to you. Just take their phone <laughs> right here. Subscribe them real quick. All right. Take their right. phone. Make three dummy accounts. That's right. Subscribe. That's right. He's got to get to 1K. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, what'd you miss so far? Uh, we're already off the rails, but we'll <laughs> no, keep it going. No, that was fast. Hey, we'll, don't worry. We'll start over. Uh, so Zack uh, Snyder is going to be remaking Star Wars. It's going to be great. We'll go back to the beginning of the rant. Hang on. <laughs> but yeah, we're all watching it, right? Like, yeah. that's the sad part yeah. is we're all watching this. I, I don't know if I will. I, I will. I, I can see how after, after the Snyder cut. I, I don't you know, know if I can take any more Snyder. I honestly do. Hey, don't, 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 don't know. All the DC fans are going to come in here and start writing me messages again and threaten me. Yeah, don't know. start with the Snyder cut, please. <laughs> here's what's, 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 what's going to happen for me. Week. There's going to be all those clickbait headlines and everything, and I'll read them because that's what I always do. Yeah, or yeah. Kind of, oh, sort of yeah. read them. And then I'll be like, oh, I'm really interested in what this looks like. And then I'll watch it, and like Marco said, I'll hate it, and... <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it is what it is i mean we're gonna watch it we might do a short review uh hopefully on it that'd be fun yeah, we'll have to i don't think it'll be that great but whatever i could be wrong <laughs> well i stopped watching m night Shyamalan movies too so yeah <laughs> yeah i'm not sure what kills me dude. yeah <laughs> all right um up next we I'm got another great where you huh? age really fast <laughs> <laughs> Remember this movie? I got a plan. The plants drive people to commit suicide with plant enzymes they release into the air. Oh boy! Yeah, there's some bad ones, guys. Uh, with a pool, and then there's gonna be a mermaid in it, <laughs> in a cocoon, <laughs> on another planet. Which apparently, that pool where there's any chlorine. Where there's nine samurais. Not Why seven, doesn't he do? No, no. Nine. Time out. You know what he should do? He should redo batteries not included oh. seven samurai style. Done. <laughs> Why and he, did he pitch that? And, and he can and he can add in Johnny that, Five. He can make that Johnny Steve, Five show. Is that Steve batteries. Gutenberg? Can we get him? Is that Steve yeah, Gutenberg? He's probably not doing anything right now. So yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's free. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> Ooh. Right. No, we're good. It's raining. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> vacation is fun oh by the way for everybody that was concerned i did not get charged if you watched renovision on wednesday and i hope you did uh the desk that fell or if you're watching the igs appreciate everybody following the igs the desk in the hotel that i was staying at that broke and i had to seal back with a bottle some gorilla glue and water didn't get officially charged for that desk so thank you very much for everybody that was concerned about the desk you did almost drown today or was that yesterday? That was yesterday, yesterday. almost drowned. Yes. <laughs> I also have been in a... Yes, is it, of course. Yeah. Somebody... Yeah, are, you, are you doing that because you saved me? Yes. He did save me. I was... <laughs> trying to start, we got to start a podcast, The Many Misadventures of Marco. And like all <laughs> of... Is Wilson. there a next segment going to be how to build a couch <laughs> fort with all the pillows on it? couch? <laughs> There was oh, so one episode where yeah. he has to build a table from Thank a you. hotel room that happened to fall apart. And <laughs> so this is how vacation's been going. So this is why I go on a lot of them. All right, next up. We speaking <laughs> of vacations. Yeah, speaking of vacations, uh, if you want to go someplace where the desks probably don't fall apart yet, uh, Disney decided that they're going to roll out something called a space cruise. 
Let's pull up that's that. That's what they actually call Is that what it's called? Is it Space no. Cruise? No, but that's just what I, or we, coined the term to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a margarita machine. Galactic yes. Starship Experience or something like that. Galactic like Star- that yeah. was a big margarita machine you guys saw come in here, so we're good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's share this real quickly. This is actually kind of cool. So I've talked to a couple people. It's called, yeah, the Galactic Starship Ex- Cruise? Star Cruise. Star Cruise. Galactic Star, Star Cruise. Cruise. Okay. Perfect. So you pull up, and this is in the park in which was it? Universal? Uh, which is the one that's already got the Disney stuff. Yeah, or the, the Star Disney Studios. World. Hollywood Studios, that's it. Yeah, Hollywood yeah. Studios. So they're going to hit oh, yeah, yeah. Hollywood Studios. You're going to pull up to some mysterious entrance, or you're going to get shuttled there, and you're going to be able to stay on site for a couple days. Um, we talked, I, I guess it's supposed to look like this. I don't get why they keep showing this picture, because you obviously know you're not staying in this. Um, but that's what you're supposed to think about. They actually want you kind of to dress up, but they, that's also because they want to sell stuff to you. Um, I thought they said that the, the building was designed after that ship. Sure. But if you've been to any of the, like the Millennium Falcon looks kind of like the Millennium Falcon, but like, I mean, its scope is big, but I don't think it's on the true scope of what the Millennium Falcon is. Do, is it? It might be. It's it's pretty close, I think. I mean, so maybe it is. Maybe yeah. you're staying, but it only fits 100 people. This right. thing could wait. <laughs> Fit over a hundred people, like you know. I mean, they want you to think you're walking onto that. Yeah, and I bet you they'll do a great job about it. I mean, they'll do a great job to make you think you're walking on that. But like, that's a you know, that's like a whole town. Yeah, right. I mean, when you think about that's because of the size of the Imperial (laughs) Star Destroyer, so that's like the whole of Walt Disney World. There's no way they're building that whole thing. (laughs) Just not doing it. Well, I'm, be- I'm in. They sold me on it because from what I read, I totally thought they had built a building to look like this. And I'm like, dope, man. That's going to be sweet. <laughs> Lewis, like, we're gonna is- get, Lewis is reading my mind. We're going right. to get into it, Lewis. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah this we're going to get where, into this. This is where it goes a little. This is where we depart. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> for two guests, <laughs> per guest per night, it's $1,209, which means that the total voyage cost will be 4809 That's no extras. Um, three guys, it starts to get cheaper. I think they're kind of trying to get it so that you bring, that's not just a bunch of like fanboys and fangirls, adults that are coming in and taking it over. Not hugely cheaper, obviously, but you can get it down with four guests to seven forty nine per night. And I know that seems astronomical. I, I'm not irrelevant to the price point. Um, but there's some things you got to take into consideration there too. You get these cool rooms that they put together. This is kind of cool. It's a hundred person. There's only a hundred other people or is it a hundred other rooms? rooms. rooms. So there's only a hundred rooms. So if you you figure out a hundred other rooms and two people per room, you know, maybe 50 other rooms, something like that. No, hundred rooms, 50. So you're 200 people total. Yeah. Yeah, You're getting about 200 people on there. They're going to experience it. You can squeeze four people in that room. Five. You can see four to five in here. Nice. I wonder if they get different. Or like probably a different. That's the standard. Four here. Yeah. There you go. Four here. This is eight. This one's averaging. They got to be averaging around three per room. Yeah, probably. So 300 people. Everything. So hundred. You're talking three, an average of 300 people. If and I wonder if the price comes down. Thing, you could fit four old people in one bed together. <laughs> for, for all that money, they give you a hair dryer in your. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, okay. that's that's, that's <laughs> Uncle. Uh, that's uh, Chewie's uh, uncle, Grandpa's. They do hair, give you an in cabin uh, safe. Yeah. I don't know after you book the trip if you're going to have any uh, money left for that safe, but like they <laughs> give you one. You get spa and bath products. I mean, come on. They they do give you a phone with voicemail yeah. mess. Okay, this is the one failure. Like, come on, bro. Like, you're giving you're me a phone. Like, days. you should get, like, a hollow something. Yeah. An, an iPad to carry around. Something. Yeah, just a data pad, something like that. You could have done something like that. An interactive TV, great. Yeah. All right. Either way, uh, so it's queen bed or two bursts and bunk beds. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. I want the wall pull down bed to, like, shoot out. Like an actual bed on a... Does it? You, you never know. Yeah, if it comes... Yeah, it might. <clears throat> Actually, you know, JJ, I don't know the last time you've been to Disney, but in some of them, it doesn't... It They do have... It is a drop down or a push or a shoot out bed. Like, they have those, so... But yeah, you should have it on air going like... Shh, like Fifth Element what? style. Yeah, what the, uh, okay. Can they give me an arm like Echo and that way I can stick my thing in there and like activate the bed? And- <laughs> you never know because they say the whole thing is interactive. Okay, so like... Who knows? 
and the rooms get bigger. So those prices were, I think, starting off prices, <laughs> and I think it can get pretty expensive. They have a Grand Captain Suite, which gives you a mini refrigerator, and still a hair dryer. You got the safe, uh, interactive TV, phone, and voice mail. This hair dryer, aren't you? I, I don't I know. know. They're so, pushing the hair dryer. I, I really, Pete, this comes officially off. <laughs> like, ironing board. Tried an ironing board and iron too. When, it, when I read this, what is H two O plus? Does anybody know what the heck that is? Is that like certain it's water? Like you get water. better water than the other people there, or yeah. something? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a filtered kind of <laughs> crazy. Water. Yeah, it's a, no, it's no, 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 no. H two O plus is the company that creates yeah. like shampoo. Soaps and high, it's like a, what was that? So it's like high end, yeah. okay, it's high a, end like cleaning yes. products. Yeah, it's like bliss. Like you, yeah. oh, really high end. Yeah, but it's like, money. yeah. Because did they, they used to do bliss at like Weston's or something like that before Marriott bought it. It was supposed like, to be like really dope because like, like yeah. Motel 8 style. No, like definitely that. not Motel 8 style. <laughs> this is not, this isn't like the soap where you're like, why is it the soap even shrinking when I'm it's using like it? The, it's it's like, like the, the thin bar that like disintegrates in your hand. Oh, guys, you so we're getting, we're, guys, we're literally <laughs> getting hooked on the soap and, and, and the, the hair dryer. <laughs> I I every detail you're going on it, you guys are trying to sell me on it. But this is kind of cool. So they do give you windows and you're looking out into space. I mean, like there's a lot of production value in here. Yeah. Okay. And that's all I'm trying to say. There's a bar area, a whole bunch of stuff. Either way. It, uh, it's completely immersive environment. So yeah. mm -hmm. for it every is. hour now, of every day. They do. They, they plan out your hours. There is a bunch of stuff that you can do. I did pull up. You get lightsaber training. You get uh, train on the bridge. They do send you to the main thing where um, Millennium Falcon is on Batu, and you actually get to go in there. So they, it's like better than Fast Pass. You apparently just to skip through, so you get to see that whole portion uh, of Black Sphere, and you get to jump to the front of the lines because that's part of your day experience. Um, and they put you to the front of the lines to build lightsabers and experience all that stuff. Your first day, you get arrival. You do you launch the pot, which you know this is all production. But they have an orientation, like refreshments. You get to learn how to play the back. Like every portion is cut down for you. Their dinners, you do have like two different times. You get to choose what the dinner is, but they include all your meals. They do all this stuff, and then like your day's done at eight forty-five. You go to bed, and you can do whatever you want. Your right, bridge up training. I'm assuming they just show you how to use a bed. No, the bridge. Oh, yeah. You know, like, what, what Captain. Captain Dude, they never do anything wrong. Like, I don't know. What have you, you've gone to Disney too, and yeah. you guys probably have also. At your, my experience there, like, look, man, we had the worst thing that could possibly happen when you're there, yeah. and they took care of us so good that, like, mm -hmm. I bought more stock. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, they're just, they've done such a good job. And I know it's expensive, but, like, my family to go, yeah. it cost us. 15 and change mm -hmm. to go for five days. Yeah. So when you're, you're looking at 10 kids and yeah, well, I mean, yeah, the kids <laughs> we, hit, we, hit two, we hit two, every two kids, we hit another kid in the luggage. So okay. we got one for free. Yeah. So it was like, buy and the, hit two, so buy one free. Like that. We got to get two shuttles though, to carry that, you know, all those kids. <laughs> right. But, but, my, so, but the point being is like, it, I understand it doesn't seem but when you break it down where they're giving you this for every day and they're taking care of all of your meals. And I know booze aren't included, but realistically, if you were on a cruise ship or if you were uh, yeah. if you're on a cruise and ship or something else. <laughs> they really do. I mean, they do everything they, they possibly – the workers there and everything do an extremely great job of – even – like yeah. at Galaxy's Edge of being in completely immersive, never breaking character. It's like that episode of South Park, if you've ever seen it, where the old pioneer people will not break character for anything. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like Galaxy's <laughs> Edge and stuff. So I imagine this will be very similar as far as like being immersive. So Yeah. And and I mean, just like, I mean, the Mando um, standee that Marco normally has behind him just moved. Did you see it? It walked behind him and then walked out. <laughs> it's totally immersive. Totally. <laughs> I mean, the food, the drink, the water, the bath, spa, products. <laughs> now, now, listen, I'm, is, I'm not saying it's deal. not expensive. It is. It is it expensive. Is. Not for you, what you, you're getting. Yeah, but when you, you break down. Yeah, they, you're right, though. They do it right. Uh, you, I mean, think about this per night. Uh, if you go with the – and this is it. Add a couple more kids onto that, right? So yeah. add two more kids. You're probably – in that room, you're probably down to five hundred dollars ish no, a night. You're not letting yeah. you pile yeah. that many more in there. You're gonna get a second room. 
That's what I'm saying. Will they only let you sleep? Because it says sleeps up to five. Like I wonder when you book these rooms. You book these rooms because they're so limited. But JJ, you can add that if it's like another 150 off of 750. So then you're down to six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars per night for three nights with all foods, all meals included, all entertainment included. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you get yeah. drunk, they just throw you in your room. No problem. You know what I mean? You don't got to do anything. And they fast pass, and they fast and pass, they you. pass you. Yeah. Well, yeah. well yeah. only in a couple, only those two rides. Yeah, the two hardest rides to get on. Oh, yeah, but there's other shit to do there. And I would, then after I this might is be over, crazy, I didn't over see. $50,000 to do the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> I can see you guys have been arguing over this since we brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I would imagine, and I could be wrong about this, but I would imagine they're going to have like limited stuff that you can only get if you book this package on the Galactic Cruise and like yeah, that type of it. stuff. Glad Special you brought that up. Let's go over to some of their food choices, JJ. <laughs> now, this is where we might be on the same page. Okay, this looks okay. This is some of their like things. Uh, I guess you're trying to be festive or whatever. Um, I don't know why they showed some of these others, though. This is another choice here. We have no clue what this is, and there's no description, but... Um, that's why you're supposed to be intrigued. Is that like a little, like... like is that like to break something with the little mallet there? I don't, I don't... It looks like cream cheese that's orange, and, like, I don't... Well, maybe from the description, didn't this have to do with uh, the planet? Um, it was planet uh, Orient. Uh, wow, Must Mustafar. This was supposedly one of the dishes that was inspired by the planet Mustafar. So I'm not eating it, bro. Night. Not for not for seven hundred dollars a night. That's, That's not me. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's so a yeah. bunch all of right. the this is, all right. This is, this, is this, this is over. It's over now. Yeah, it's, yeah. So first, it's off, to be first off, themed. Yeah. Okay. Painting shrimp blue is not seven hundred. You got to come up with something better than blue shrimp. <laughs> it, this doesn't even look appetizing. His hey. wife starts throwing up just looking at this picture, dude. Yeah, it does kind of creep me out. That the, the, the I was the, all in with yeah. this thing, like it's not so bad. And then I saw the food choices. I'm like, nope, done, not what going. Was next to the shrimp. I don't know. You don't want to know. Yeah, it looks like is radish. That tomato, is that calamari. No, I Mon don't. Keller Martin? No, it's Admiral yeah. Akbar. <laughs> Why are you? And then this, like, I get it. You use a little ink, but then this just looks like you're going to um, what's Chinese the, restaurant? Right? Yeah, what's yeah, the, the, what's the, the famous one? Uh, the horse out in front of it. Hey, that that looks very Japanese yes, okay. inspired. So I'm okay, gonna go yeah. with like. That's a Zack Snyder Kuasara. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? That's Kung Pao chicken in the front. Yeah, I it was well, amazing. okay. There's udon noodles with squid ink in the back. I mean, <laughs> maybe Thai, I guess. You got some pad Thai on the right side. And uh, I don't know what the other thing is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need the Bad Batch popcorn, is what they need. Yes. yes. That's what they should have. The mun Muntel no, Munch. Yeah. Is it Martel yeah, Munch? Yeah. <laughs> I like Joe's uh, comment there. That better be the picture on the wall of the food. <laughs> while I'm eating the cardboard pizza yeah, that they'll say. The pizza's not bad. Oh, okay, That's not bad. There's a couple of these are good. Stay away from that. You have to make it space pizza. I, I will say I had breakfast there at the um, at Star Wars, and it was horrible. Yeah, I mean, it can't be much worse than what's going on there right now. Not good. Um like they do give you the popcorn in the mouse droid. So we did go behind the scenes. We did our digging <laughs> to see what like the we're not gonna give this person's name away, but on the Disney World junkies, this is like one of those groups of like lunatics that like love everything, right? Is that yeah. what you call yeah, them? Lunatics? Yeah, lunatics. Yeah, yeah. just My lunatics wife. that love or well, your wife's on that one? Nah, she's <laughs> lunatic. <laughs> she's not watching. Not, she's not, not, well, she might be, but well, I hope she's not. Truth hurts. <laughs> okay. Well, either way, uh they so so one of the people's comments was how people were surprised over the pricing. Of course, that's kind of what everybody is. That she she goes on to kind of give you the quick breakdown of what you get. And well, I mean, look, it is a little bit expensive, but in the grand scheme of Disney stuff, it's not. I wouldn't say it's too expensive. Yeah, you want them to give you a free lightsaber. That's all you want. Oh, what's you know, what's something out of it? He goes. They don't. Give, you can take the wrappers home from whatever this. You can take this shrimp I, home. I doubt the shrimp's going to go bad. Look, I don't know what it's coated in, but it doesn't look well, like it rocks. I'm gonna like, I think they could. The they could product. do something. They could do something along that line of like when you go to build the lightsaber. Like these are parts you only get if you're part of the galactic crew starship now, I, cruise thing. I, I, yeah, you don't know. They gave you some stuff, but obviously it wasn't big. But I thought that I was reading that they gave you like a pin. There was like a special pin that you got for being part of the. Through the space pin? So, yeah, I'm, I'm not paying yeah. for a pin. 
Yeah. But there was some other stuff too. I thought. No, is it, is it a limited edition car, fig pin, but... and I can sell it on whatnot for a whole bunch of money? <laughs> yeah, well, they, no, but that is I mean, how that, it works that's very possible. No, the pins, the, like that. What it's going to be is, and this is probably part of the problem. There's one guy and, I'm, and his wife, and I'm not going to say who it is, but they, you'll see their videos because they literally go like every two weeks and like this is the newest thing. And next yeah. thing you know, he's listing all the stuff. Like, check my site out to buy it. It's the coolest, whatever. Like when he found out. Yeah, I think he almost got divorced because when he found out that you could find the Sith, uh, remember the Sith crystals everywhere we were at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Polycon yeah. crystal. Oh, man, he oh, he, did, he must not have watched the other person's YouTube channel on how to do it right. And he was spending a ton of money trying oh. to figure it out. Oh, <laughs> he, oh, he did it. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, like, it's going to be a thing. And at one point, that's got to go, right? Um, yeah. The shrimp is coming out blue. I saw that. <laughs> Lewis, what's going on? Well, you're going to have some space poops then. I will All say, right. does anybody else think the price is due to them maybe wanting to limit it? Because, I mean, if you had everybody... A little bit. Yeah. It, it may be a little prohibitive for people, and that, that's why they only have 100 rooms, and they're... I don't know. Yeah. That was just a thought. But yeah, you No, I think it is. I, initial rush. I, 100, I 100% think it is, and I 100% believe for like the first five years it's going to be sold out at that price. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. It'll sell out. And, no matter what we say or do yeah. or anything else, it'll sell out. Yeah. Well, it, it's it's, it's on time. worldwide That's attraction. It's not just, you know, for yeah. the U.S. Like, people come from around the world yeah. to go to Disney World and Disneyland. Yeah. I mean, to sell out something that only has a, a hundred rooms available at that place, that's like, yeah, that's, that's not going to That's like a really to limited go. exclusive variant. Yeah. I'm not quite sure it's for any of us, but like, I don't think, I mean, I'm not. Whatever. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I'd want to do it anyways. I mean, look, Dwayne's got a good point. That shrimp ain't coming out. It's coming out the same color <laughs> when it and like But there's a difference in wanting to do it and then wanting to do it for the price that it's but, costing right now. Yeah, there's, but the, no, I, it, let's say price isn't let's say price isn't a thing. And this is where I'm gonna have a problem with it, because this is kind of what I was talking about earlier. Like when you go to or celebration, it's all about the children, it's all about how cool it is. And all the people who dress up, dress up for kids yeah. first and whatever. We've seen, we should probably get this person thing off before we get a DNC or something because we're in the habit of getting DNCs lately. Um, but we, you know, when you, we've already seen some of these other people behind there going like, we're going to be disappointed if people don't show dressed up and earn full-time character at every time. And you're like, whoa, 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 homeboy. Like you're an adult. First off, if somebody comes up to my kid because they're wearing a Disney shirt and has got any words for them because you want to dress up in some robe that you bought for $600 and my Mickey kid wants to wear... doesn't exist in Star Wars. Yeah, Mickey Mouse shoes. I, that's not... Yeah. There's, you're going to be exited in space real quick, right? So like... <laughs> then, <laughs> Shoot about the airlock. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, my part is like... Let this go for a while. See how it turns out. Let all those people who want to argue and and get in fights over like how real space, it, it, you know, it. Like I always tell our man Jedi, it's Star Wars, man. Like it ain't real. I mean, it's fun, not real. So like, ah, oh, that's it, man. That's all I got. For man. entertainment purposes only. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. That's the point. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those things that, like, if I go, I'm going to save up a lot of money for, and I'm probably going to go once, and I'm probably never ever going to go back. But it'll still be a fun vacation. But it's not going to change. Like that's the thing. Yeah. Like it's not going. The problem is it's not going to change. So it's always going to be the same thing. So if you go once, you have it. The problem the is you have to I hope that those other 200 people are on the same page as JJ. When JJ walks yeah. in with his hat and his uh, Carhartt jacket, like. <laughs> This is Attack on Titan, brother. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I see JJ I like, I I in there. I have a problem with them showing up dressed up. Like, leave that to the professionals. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, and they asked they asked you to, didn't they? They do. Well, well, no, they totally, asked you, you to. Totally and, and right under where they ask you to, they say, if you if you don't have the pro, if you don't have that type of attire, we sell it at the Disney Shop right, store, yeah, and yeah. you can buy it on. Right. So they kind of do, and I'm not saying like a lot of the guys that. In, in, in women, a lot of the men and women that actually do dress up at cosplay put time and effort into their oh, yeah. cosplay, and I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I really do. I don't think anybody does it better than Star Wars fans. But you're going into cosplay knowing that these people are all doing the same thing. You go into Disney, you're like 
well, is this a is this a Disney employee? You know, or is this a creepy yeah, dude sure. wearing sure, a? Sure, you know, sure. I'm just asking some other guest where the bathroom is because I don't know where it is. Because... <laughs> <laughs> you know, that could that could totally turn around around on the person dressing up too. Like if you dress up as like right. you know a droid or something, they're gonna think, hey, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you like ask questions nonstop. You're like, I ain't doing this anymore. I'm not getting you another soda. We've all yeah, got here. Sir, dress up as a drunkie that <laughs> are serving droid. People yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. So, like, if you're mad that you. Like there is going to be, I'm just warning everybody. If, if you're like, okay, listen, I, I have the means to pop down the $5,000 next week. Cool. Do know if you go this year, there are going to be people that are like, yeah. it's next year, right? Or next yeah, year, 2022. Yeah, yeah. Next yeah. year, 20. They're going to be like, why aren't you in like different robes each day? Or why aren't you full fledged character? And I don't think that's the heart each day. Unfortunately, day. like, cause there's such a great cosplay, you know, the 501st. The Jedi's, the trainers, the droid, you know, the droid factory. There's been such a great cosplay slash costume slash fan involvement experience that I really was disappointed to see some of the early on comments about like, I'm going to be extremely disappointed if every person there isn't 100% dressed up. Like, dude, then you're not in the right set. Like, I always say Star Wars is for everybody. Just some Star Wars isn't for you. No, nah, bro. If you're complaining that everybody on that isn't ready to go, you, you're, Star Wars isn't for you. Sorry, you can go. There's a there's another show that does something in space with some guy that does a grip uh, like this or something. I don't know, a pincher grip or something. I don't whatever he does. You can go join you that. You're talking about Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon. Yeah, Snyder. <laughs> what? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so yeah, I mean that's just it. Like my whole thing is like, stay, you probably want to stay away from it for a little bit. But I'm not mad at the price. I know you're mad at the price, but what? What? I got a question tough to add on to your vacation already. How do they work that in? Is there it's three? No, they have it scheduled out, Pete. They have it scheduled out down to the yeah, minute. It's you're scheduled ridiculous. out. Know, you're scheduled. Yeah, yeah. But you got to plan it out. It's like, all right, well, we're going and we're staying at the Magic Kingdom for two days. Then we're going to the Star Wars place for another two days. And then we had to come back to our other room. Oh, Disney takes care of that. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, it's still. Yeah, I turn you more money. Well, yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> it's a service, but yeah, they take care. There's it. travel agent stuff that they make their entire business on planning out your yeah. Disney vacation. Yeah, so, right, right, and I, and I don't know if anybody's ever tried to plan a Disney vacation. When you do it down to the minute, it's the worst stressful thing in the world. No, yeah. no, you hire yeah. somebody for that. That's, yeah. Okay, no so stuff. this is two days and three nights, correct? No, 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 two nights, two, two nights. Yeah, it's technically two, two nights. It's like a so part three of a day. Two nights. Yeah, it's because your day starts yeah. at one. You go all the yeah. way through that night, full day next day, night, and then another half a day. Okay, so. And I'm a huge fan. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to get crucified. Is it possible to come out of this and be like, you know what? I need a Star Wars break. Like that <laughs> that submersion yeah. uh, into this of just the alternate reality of in my face 24-7. Yeah. I, I need a 24-hour period of just reality. I won't need a Star Wars break. I will need a money I need a little extra money for my Star Wars. <laughs> well, okay, okay, two things. <laughs> two things. I think. I think though, there should be a disclaimer. If you are on, and this is maybe why it's expensive. Like, if you're on World of Walmart or uh, Florida Man, like you have to make expensive because you don't want Florida Man or World of Walmart showing up there because, yeah, sure, you know, well, all of a sudden also- they're having a flip out and they're trying to jump out the space window or they're riding their little <laughs> rascal into your door. Right, like right, it yeah. ain't gonna go well. I do want to know: Are those windows actual windows? You think they're really like screens, like made to imitate happy. space? It'd probably be like a, a window to a screen, like there's yeah. like a TV behind it. Uh, I can see that. There's space ports, and they just painted the. It's also of it's it. very oh, right now. It's no. very limited date Show. wise. Like it was only open for like a month right now of booking. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Don't eat the blue." Yeah, eat the blue shrimp at the last night, last meal. Eat blue shrimp; it won't pass through. So it's how you time it. That's how you know your digestive system's working. Well. Oh my god! I look. Why did I have that blue shrimp? Yeah, <laughs> that's another thing. You gotta get that tested out too. All right, we just went off the rails. I'm back to oh, back yeah. off the rails. Rabble, rabble. What are we covering next? Bad batch. We bad batch. Bad okay. Big one this week. <laughs> We already broke the rabbit hole, VC. Thanks. We broke it already. It's <laughs> that been was up the before that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. We're done. We're way down the hole. 
All right, Bad Batch. I did not read the notes on Bad Batch, JJ, so we're going to let you lead this one. Oh, boy. All right. I hope I can see the slides. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I watched the episode, and we watched it twice. Yeah. And then we watched it back up. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I, I right. had to watch it twice, too. So this week was Bad Batch. Return to Camino. Kind of know what this episode is going to be about by the title, but <laughs> yeah, it gives it away a little bit. Uh, so let's get to it. Uh, next slide, if you will. Are we on the next slide? Yeah, I can't see that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it not changing for you? Oh yeah. man, all right. do, 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 do. Yeah, all right. So all of a sudden, we go back to when they got Hunter and Crosshair, and Crosshair is talking to Hunter, telling him that, "Hey, look, we know that your group's coming out here. I'm going to activate your beacon," and he does. Next slide, please, Pete. Yep, we got it. And of course, we have to have Omega, (laughs) Omega, Omega do like, come on, guys, we're going to go. Now, this is where I was like, listen, guys, this makes no sense. Like, I know you're going to go grab him, but like, nah, you just let him go off, right? You let Hunter die. Yes? (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) nobody expected them to go back for Hunter this week. You can't, you can't let Hunter die. You're you're telling me these three are going to let Hunter die? They're going to follow Wrecker? Or tech who doesn't understand simple things like what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what are feelings? Yeah, exactly. They literally go, we know this is a setup, but not only is it a setup, but we're gonna go to exactly where the setup is and get set up with no plan. They had no plan. So okay, go ahead. Next slide. That. Next slide. Zero plans. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Plan. There's yeah, let's fly right oh, in. Yeah, this was cool yeah. though. JJ, wasn't this cool? Didn't it was, this happen someplace else? Was it in Hoth? Well, there's always like a flying into scene. Yeah, but like I'm talking about the the activation of the uh, landing pad. Oh, get low. Oh, yeah, lower. where it's buried under the water. Like you have to get low, mm-hmm. lower, lower <laughs> to activate it. But yeah. Or is it the was, Jar Jar? No, you know what it was? Jar Jar. It was the Gungans. Pete. Yeah, it was the Gungans. Yeah, the Gungans, yeah. The Gungans, yeah. All right, cool. Next slide. Take it from the Gungans. <laughs> you just have to. I have that feeling. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. She knows everything. Oh, that was she. That was good though. They did a good job with Omega and how scared she was to go back. I think they yeah. did. Like it felt like she, she was, was very pensive about it. It didn't make it didn't make me remember that she was scared to go back just by watching the video. And then we've got our guy here, Rampart, uh, just being whatever. Can somebody just shoot him? Gotcha. <laughs> a, that's his yeah. role, though. That's He's supposed to be the guy you don't like. No, no, no! It's not even. That. It's not like that guy stooge. Yeah, yeah, it's not that I don't like yeah. him because he's like an evil he's, bad guy. Because I actually like like the Tarkins of the world. Yeah, I like those right, bad guys. Right. This guy's just like a waste he's of human. Kind of flavorless. Yeah. yeah. He's, just, he's just there. He's that, he's that's that brown noser at work that you're like, come on, dude, really? Yeah. <laughs> like you're not even you successfully achieving this this kiss up attitude. Like just stop. Yeah. 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 The, yeah. What's his name from the the. Dunholm Gleason? Is that a, I don't want to say his name right, but you know. It reminds me of the guy that, uh, and I can't remember his title now, but the guy that gets choked to death by Vader in A New Hope. Mm. The Imperial Tag. Guy. Right. <laughs> oh, like, Tag. Completely expendable Admiral that just gets yeah. choked to death. It's not Admiral Piet because he was took over after him. Yeah, Admiral Piet. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. guy before him. Yeah, a tool. That's a Yeah, he's just some tool that's walking around that you're just like, what? Yep. Place of space. But maybe they do that on purpose. Uh, I don't. Why did you add this slide, JJ? Uh, are we on the so this is is that ESO2 talking to yeah. he's saying yes. she's saying that um she doesn't trust Crosshair. Right. Ah yes, yes, yes. That's uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She thinks Crosshair is gonna double cross him. Okay. So they're coming in and they're still yep. going they're piloting over. down. They arrive at Camino. They're like, oh, it's a trap. We know it's a trap already, but apparently they didn't know that. <laughs> but of course Omega knows a back door. And that's in the next slide there. Which I thought this imagery was cool of the tunnel system. Oh yeah, yeah. It was very Tronish, but I liked it. You know yeah. what I mean? It was hard to pull up images. <laughs> I tell you, this from making the slides <laughs> because it was very, very dark. Like I had to yeah, crank the brightness dark. and yeah, 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 just the right angle. But yeah, yeah. So uh, let's see. Are we also too? Are we on the next slide with her and uh, yeah, yeah, her head and yeah. Got so hair. I like the wet hair. Did anybody notice I was that? Say that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I that's thought that was cool. Nice I think the animation in this was better. I do. Yeah, there's created. something about it. It really made you feel in for it. I think the coloring that they mm-hmm. used and that, like the white touch, the look in the eyes, they definitely are doing a really good job of focusing on the small things. Which mm-hmm. makes me wonder if they did it like kind of out of order. Because they did that with Clone Wars and even with Rebels to a degree where they animated 
certain episodes before other episodes. So yeah. I almost wonder if this was like an earlier one or a later one. I don't know. I didn't look it up, but it would be interesting to know that. Well, and I liked it in this part when she's explaining to them because they're like, well, how did you know this was here? How did yeah. you? And she's like, we all were here. And this is where you guys got your enhancements yeah. is in this uh, secret. Yeah. Next slide. Yep. You guys were born area. So, yeah. Crosshair is taking Hunter. No, no, no. And next slide. Go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Cross. And we're go still ahead. in the tunnel. And then uh, they're going through the tunnels. They arrive at the lab, which is what Solo was talking about. Yeah. That should be on the uh, next slide there, hopefully. So, so yeah, yeah. she she that puts her positioning right like this is a weird timeline thing now right yeah so yes. she is after oh, yeah. <laughs> boba fett right natural but before like the fourth series of clone like that's crazy dude well the other weird thing is like it makes you wonder how old the bad batch is like how accelerated yeah. is their aging mm -hmm. and also to the degree of like how does she remember things when she was that young yeah, yeah. She she yeah. said she remembered being created there. Right. Is she, is yeah. she not aging? That's yeah. Question. Was she just created at that age? Oh. Well, and it Whoa. makes you wonder: Did they create her and Boba at the same time? Was and Rex questions. knew them pretty well, though, right? You mean the the, the bad clones? batch? Rex knew the bad batch, bad batch yeah. pretty well, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I and Rex is Rex is like one of the first. He first gen. Yeah, clones. Mm -hmm. He's pretty close. Well, if she's a true one to one clone and she wasn't created at age, she'd either have to be not aging at all or mm -hmm. she'd have to be aging slower than normal, right? Yeah, I would think slower, slower than normal because yeah. Bo Boba Fett's older than her at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they could have been made years apart, but it almost seems like they made it seem like they were made almost at the same time. Yeah, I guess you could fix it. I guess you could fix it and say she, we don't know her actual age. No. <sighs> I think the slower makes a lot of sense, though, for her, because we can accelerate. And it's the start, so it's zero on the Empire scale. Hold on. we got to kick off with that. <laughs> Jedi would hate us for agreeing out timelines and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's not timeline. Is, is it me? Does, yeah, she it, feel, does she feel bad for being in there? Like, she feels bad for telling, have to tell them that they were well, created. I this. couldn't tell, because she yeah. says at one point that, Nala say showed her. I think she was sad too that she missed Nala say. Nala say, yeah. Yeah, and she didn't want to go back. Yeah. yeah, and Hunter promised her that she'd never have to go back. Yeah, true, true. See, that's why you leave him. You wouldn't have had to go back. If he wouldn't have had to go back. Well, Chris. <laughs> All right, so then she turns him. around and tells him, "You have to go. We have to go save him. Yeah. We have to." <laughs> Maybe yeah, it's Dwayne Scott's theory of yeah, a Highlander. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. you get to that certain age when you die the first time, and you're at that age forever. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you would think the Omega would be off. You know what's messed up? There could be another, there could be an Alpha clone. Right. Like there could be an actual Alpha. Well, see, I always clone. assumed Boba was the Alpha. Yeah, I always just kind of assumed, but yeah, exactly. Boba was. But maybe not. That. That's what know. I'm saying. Like y'all might be, hey, look, in assuming, is a, there's a real nice word that comes out of assuming. Yeah. That's what you and me don't could they all say at one point, though, in this, in this series, didn't they say earlier on that he was the Alpha? Or am I, I wrong? Can't remember. I don't think so. Uh, I thought they implied that he was one of the alphas. Could be. Maybe it's a batch. Yeah. Mm. So it, I, it, it, yeah. I mean, it'd have to be. Either way, there's season her. two. Maybe we'll figure out the end of season two. Next slide. Yeah, we're getting in the weeds. Yeah. Yeah. We're down. We lost all rabbit holes. We have no more graphics for rabbit holes at this point. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hunter and Crosshair go back at yep. it. I actually thought there's a lot of trying to convince each other in this episode. <laughs> I know. I thought the back and forth was really good when he started going with the lines that I actually thought. Did anybody else think Hunter or uh, that Crosshair was going to turn good here? There was, a, I think, there nope. was a chance that. Yeah. I I was yeah. getting as the season went on, I was getting less and less of the Crosshair redemption story. Yeah, coming along at least as we assumed it would. When he said, "I was the only one that didn't give up on us." Yeah, you didn't think that this was all just like he was setting them all up to like, and here you go, and he he did he yeah. he, he didn't shoot them like right. he gave I, him a second chance. Yeah, oh. I, he gave him another yeah. chance. So I thought, yeah. I don't know. Well, we'll, I mean, we'll get to it. It's yeah. those slides are in there. The second chance thing, but here this part they were kind of arguing. He was telling him the empire is evil, and Hunter's still under the assumption that everything's the chip in his head, yeah. Yeah. causing him to oh, yeah, be the way yeah. he is. And they're running through the tunnel. Yep. They make it down the tunnel. This this is where they figure out where Hunter is. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. They tra- retrack his location. Um, and then we're ending up in the... This was under the training room, which is where they had Hunter, which Tech was like, I have a great idea of how to sneak into this training room. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go in where these droids are. And we're going to use this platform lift. Uh, you stay here, Omega. The three of us will do it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's dangerous. On a you slow stay. platform lift, too. Like, it was the worst. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Zero plan. Like, and, no. uh, yeah. You know, we're so going to really needed Hunter. Yeah. That's why we're gonna well, do what he'll never suspect. Omega is supposed well, to be the smartest smartest person slowly rising in the middle of the room. <laughs> and the funny thing about this is, Echo right before that was like, in the training room, he could pick a off so easily. So your plan is to slowly rise up in the middle of the room the where you have no room? cover. He said he'll give us a small chance. I was like, uh, how slow that thing rises? There's no small chance. <laughs> well, they're not right. coming in the front door. <laughs> but yeah, they're ready for him. Right in the middle of the room. Yeah. <laughs> It's only like, surrounded already. Yeah, I don't know, like already. Yards? You would say I think like even I can't remember Wrecker or Hunter or Wrecker or um, Echoes like yeah, great plan, Tech. <laughs> like good job. <laughs> All right. And then of course we're holding Hunter hostage in the next slide. Yep. Yep. Uh, you get the crosshair like uh, like throw down your weapons. Throw down the weapons. Yep. Yep. And they do. And then Omega's like, I'm gonna help. Let me activate these killer droids. Which, by the way, you had the tech guy. Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, wh- why wasn't this your plan? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, send the droids up first maker. as a yeah. distraction and then maybe sneak in? <laughs> yeah. What are the odds on that one helping you out? Yeah. But anyways, go ahead. Oh, Omega apparently realized that too late. Crosshair, this was an interesting set where Crosshair it and was. Hunter are arguing again. And Crosshair was like, you know, Hunter says, we're loyal to each other. And he said, you weren't loyal to me. And he's pissed that they left him, yeah. more or less. So he looked at it as they left him more than he left them. So, do you think that was a you left me and didn't stun me and take me with you and try to fix me, or do you think that was more of a like you should join the empire? I think, yeah, I think it was a you should join the empire. Like this hmm. was this was my goal, and it should have been a shared goal, and you made it not one. I think hmm. is what he was angry about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what it seemed like to Possible. me. Possible. I mean, it's a little. I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah, I mean, really, and it could be yeah. like I said, he's probably just mad about being abandoned and kind of left there. Yeah. Although he did try to kill them, more yeah. or less. Which <laughs> it was which Hunter brought up. He's like, "You did try to kill us, bro." Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So I don't so know. Tech did say Boba Fett. We had we had the background checks. Check it out. Tech did say Boba Fett was the alpha. Did he? Okay. Mm-hmm. We got ESO two. Yep, ESO two is tracking down Omega. She finds her. She gets. I, I didn't have that slide in there, but AZ. Knocks her out. So, real oh, tactical yeah, really approach really there. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, is it? Am I the only one in like AZ is like the Jar Jar Binks? He's only been in like three episodes of this show, but like he's yeah. like the Jar Jar Binks of the show. I don't know. He, he bugs me for some reason. It's like a terrible version of Toto. <laughs> yeah, he, he, that complete opposite of Toto. It's like the yeah. worst version. Yeah. But anyways, we get more um, Crosshair Hunter arguing. And this yeah. is where Crosshair is like, I'm going to give you a chance. The chance that you didn't give me, or the second chance, I should say, that you didn't give me. Mm-hmm. So he draws down. It looks like he's drawn down on the Bad Batch, but it turns out he's actually going to draw down his own troops. He tells them to stand down. They refuse. So, and one crack shot basically offs everybody in a ricochet you shot. You mm-hmm. saw Tech saw it, right? Yeah. He did. Yeah. Yeah. He saw the little yeah. mirror or whatever yeah, yeah. he used to mm-hmm. select it. So, and then Crosshair is like, now join me on the dark side, Empire, or whatever you want me to join me. On. Yeah, he pulled a Kylo Ren after they got yeah, rid of Snoke. Yeah. Join He's me like, to the right. dark side. We're so, in and you got Hunter being like, "Never." <laughs> and then, um, so yeah, it comes down to then the droids finally show up that Omega activated and <laughs> activated like eighty of them. So apparently, that was a great idea. In her defense, she didn't know how many troopers would be. On, on, I guess in that room, yeah, I guess. that makes sense. I agree yeah, with that. I that know, makes but, sense. But, but she know. did even he's in AZ kind of ribs her and says she activated way too many. Of them. And then got, you got a, got a hole in that loot, that theory there. But okay, about what activating the droids? Yeah, and not knowing how many people. Oh. And by, keep going. I'll I'll bring it up later. Maybe she just secretly <laughs> wanted to off the bad batch, and yeah, <laughs> that yeah, was her yeah, plan yeah. all along. Kill them all. <laughs> Anyways, ESO two ends up. Uh, recognizing what's going on after she gets knocked out and then escapes. Uh, radio's Rampart to say Crosshair has betrayed us. And Rampart says, get the heck out of there. He's talking to Tarkin. Tarkin's mm-hmm. like, we're done here. 
<laughs> Wrap it up. Yeah. Peace out. Peace out. Um, so droid battle over with. You got Hunter's drawn down on Crosshair. He gets the jump on him. Crosshair is still like, Hunter, this was a great line with Hunter being like, it's all the chip. Yeah. You know, the chip's controlling you. And Crosshair with the big reveal of, I took my chip out a long time ago. And everybody's like, what? <laughs> you couldn't have taken it out a long time. Like, when? It doesn't matter <laughs> when I took it out. Like, this yeah, is me. Yeah, he's really. lying, right? He's lying. I don't think he is. This is one of my questions I have. Yeah, this is yeah. this is going to be a, a topic. They, like, super question. chipped him. Yeah, because yeah, they showed it. They oh, actually yeah. showed it. They showed it on the scan. Well, they showed it upping his programming, but he right. said, I took my chip out a while ago, and he didn't say when. Right. Well, he didn't want him to know. Right. Well, it could be lying, though. It could be lying, me. but it could be telling the truth, and the chip came out after they upped his programming. Mm. Yeah. Like Maybe. when he got... Like got burned. blown up by a freaking yeah. afterburner yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I think we were all questioning how it was still working after yeah. that anyway. So. They had a next one. The next one's the cool imagery of this was Hunter's stare down uh, after the reveal there. And uh, Hunter's like, well, we can talk about this later. <laughs> I'm just going to stun you. <laughs> See, that's drops, why when he said you left, you left me behind and mm-hmm. then they stunned him, I was thinking like, oh. But he had, like a, he had a squad of troopers behind him shooting at him. Like, how are you going to stun him in that rate? Yeah, 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 fair. yeah exactly. Yeah. And then there's the happy reunion of Omega and everybody else meets up with Hunter again. Um, and this was the interesting part that uh, I don't know if Solo wants to get into his questions about it here, but they check. He uh, Hunter decides to check Crosshair to see if he was telling the truth or to see if there were. And there's a scar there. And if you listen to the audio, there's actually an audio description, which I didn't know until this episode. But if you listen to the audio description, they do say there's a scar above his right ear. But what scar yeah, is it? But yeah. is, I mean, that's what I was. That's the so same scar it, where you got burned. Right. If he had that scar from removing the implant, the scar from where he got burned would have just Covered it up. basically got it all gone. Right. So, but it, I had to watch it twice to try and recapture and double check what I thought. And it is him looking for the, the implant scar, removal scar, right? That it didn't that what you guys that's thought, what, I, that's what he was I mean, what looking else he for. Looking? Yeah. Oh, he got burned. But does that necessarily mean yeah. we're all their chips in the same place? Yeah. Oh, I think so. Oh, I mm-hmm. hadn't thought about that. No, crosshairs yeah. was entered rectally. They are. They're all in the same place. <laughs> are they? Yeah, yeah, that's why they know how to find them. Yeah. yeah. I thought they had. Well, why would they have to use that scanner if they were all in the same place? No, Good they point. use the scanner to see if it's still working or if it's still inside their head, not to actually identify where it is. Right, no that, the trouble of digging into I, I thought like five there. when you go back and like look at like fives and people like I thought it was in a different place, but hmm. well, don't they, Maybe. I, mean, I, I assume they use a scanner to do a lobotomy, they know where the, the yeah. frontal part of the lobotomy is, but they're still going to scan it to know where they're at and what they're going in for. And, and that. yeah, yeah, you know. and, uh, Dwayne has my other question is like, you know, when he's um in the chat there, but like, you know, he got cooked medium well, like, was that what undid the chip? That's what what he's referring to when he said, I got it removed. So I have this theory on it too. He got removed. I think when he got fried, remember those chips could also make you do crazy things if they get hit too hard. So maybe Mm -hmm. they took it out after that because it was a damaged chip. Either way. So then they they do the one thing that I kind of hate because I wanted to see the battle of uh, Camino. Camino. Because like we were... Talking about this, I was yeah, like, man, right. this stinks now because originally the Battle Camino, it was like the, the and they never said, they kind of hinted that they got rid of the clones or they shipped them way off world, but like, yeah, I would have rather seen the Battle of Camino, especially considering we know for sure, like, not that we didn't know already, but they're doing a whole nother season. So I thought it would have been really cool instead of just blowing up the whole, hey, bring all the clones into the, you know. The, the, the auditorium. We're having a, we're having a, we're bring them into the auditorium. Yeah, I was, we're having a well, when they were back. When they were evacuating the clones last week, that's why I was a little bit disappointed. Yeah. Well, and they only evacuated some. Now, obviously, they didn't show it, but they kind of alluded to, hey, we're going to kill a bunch of these people. So yeah. I think they killed a bunch. They were, a, according a to what majority. AZ told us, they were taken off world. Yeah. Right. And, <laughs> yeah. and then a nice farm. took Upstate. some of this, <laughs> the scientists and, and the ones that they deemed uh, useful. I think is the word like the yeah. scientists and, and the and the the clone. But did you see clone. like why wouldn't you if you? And this is the weird part. Okay, so this is gonna be. But all the baby clones, like if you saw it, they showed the containers and they were em- like some of them were they empty were and looked like empty. Yeah. That's the, 
there is a line, and I didn't. I should have said it when the image was up, but there was a line back there when Tarkin was in the hollow image talking to uh, Rampart, where he mm -hmm. says, "Rampart confirms we officially have all the cloning technology now, and the yeah, scientists." That's true. Yeah. yeah so that. yeah. that's pretty much what the, I think they were after there all along was just the technology. They just dropped the ball. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a big ball to drop. That was a pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we still have one episode left, so we don't know what'll happen. But there um, is another planet in lore that there was a cloning, like that the they had oh, a cloning. Yeah. And this is don't forget, there's one city. This is one city on Camino. Like yeah. they're not really destroying the entire planet, but at the same time, we Why saw like another. It? It's got all the stuff there, and you have control well, of it. Why are don't you forget, breaking? we saw the in the Cad Bane episode. We though we saw that weirdly decommissioned. That's cloning true. facility they had for the Camino, and so they, they might have another. That's what I'm there. saying. They might actually have another yeah. one going on. So, right, we'll see. Well, we'll now see. Palpatine, he's got what ten or fifteen around the galaxy. <laughs> well, is that why you think they wanted the cloning technology? Yeah, that's why they wanted. Yeah, that's yeah, what they that's did. What they, they just did that so they get the cloning technology. Yeah. So they tightened up that real quickly, which I think we mm -hmm. saw coming. All right, and uh, then they. Uh, what happens to the Bad Batch? Nice star. Yep. That's pretty much where it ended. Yeah. <laughs> and my other question is, can you, you know how they say you glass a planet? Like yeah. You blow it up? Can you glass a planet that's all water? <coughs> Interesting science question. Huh? That is. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. There's no dirt. <laughs> well, there might be underneath. I mean, I don't those know. Yeah, evaporate yeah. the water first. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Remember, it's for, yeah, if you use something that vibrates. Vibrates. So, all right. Our last little bit tonight before we go. Are we doing it? Are we doing the last little bit? Are we doing odds and as a trap? Might as well. Yeah, it's you, up to y'all. Why don't you give us your there. helmet score first there, Marco? Oh, we got to get oh, scores, yeah, yeah. score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Sounds good. Helmet score it is. Uh, they changed around. I, I got them. I got you the see them. Okay. See Thanks. All right. Uh, Pete, since you're in the one spot, go for it. Uh I'm just going to go with a solid four for this one. I enjoyed it. I like what they were doing. It got us moving towards, I guess, a mid-season. Well, I don't want to say mid-season, but a season finale. It's a part one of two. They kind of let us know right at the jump that this is going to be the first half, so you knew it was going to be a cliffhanger. But uh, I did like it. I, I, I like the idea. I like the character growth. I, I like the conversations between Hunter and Crosshair. I like that they picked him back up, and uh, it's got me intrigued of what we're going to see you know, next. So, four. Perfect. Shannon, what do you got? Yeah, I, I was going to say four. Um, and then you and I talking about the Camino thing, I kind of bummed me out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Because you know? <laughs> um, that would have been great. Um, yeah. But I, yeah, well, now I'll give it four. Mm -hmm. I, it, let's just give it four. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, JJ, what do you got? I could go a little bit lower, but not too low. I just think three and a half is what I'm, I'm thinking. Um, I'm with you guys. I would have liked to see like a Battle of Camino thing. and But I kind of knew. At, last episode that we weren't getting that because they already said they were getting all the clones or getting rid of the clones um but um i and the other thing like crosshair's turn like i don't like it happened so quickly and it, it was good character development in the fact that like i think they wrote this episode really well but i would like to have seen like if that was his grand scheme was to like i'm gonna join it with my own crew and we're gonna rule the empire together or whatever his scheme was as far as you know, power and what have you. Like, I would have liked to have seen that going on a little bit more during the season. Maybe not spending like two episodes on Hera's story and right. like this and that. Like, uh, so I don't. But it's hard to say. Like, I can't go back and say, <laughs> right. well, this episode was bad because of stuff they didn't do earlier on. Right. So right. I. Uh, so I'm stuck at three and a half. I, th I still think it was a good episode. All right, solo. I really, really, really wanted to give this one such high ranking. Uh, I really actually super enjoyed this episode. I really did. But I had to go back and rewatch a bunch of takes because it was like, wait a minute, what? And it and it confused the hell out of me. The timeline is weird. They're, they're going to have to explain that now. I don't, Omega's timeline, that just jacked everything up. Yeah, that was and odd. We, <laughs> just like we were talking about earlier. Yeah. I, I don't get it when she was made, where she's at, how her age, blah, blah, blah. So that was weird. Her unleashing eight billion, you know, droids, like, hey, that should have been your plan from the beginning. And if she didn't know, she launches them and then climbs up to the tower. 
and then looks out over the tower on all of them. And it's like, hey, maybe you should have went up to the tower and hooked your peepers right over that little hole and saw how many people were there to begin with. I don't know. Down there. It just, there was a lot of, the mirror thing, I had to watch that twice because I saw him look at the mirror and I'm like, what the hell is that little you know glass thing, round thing on the wall? Why are they? And then I see him shoot and I'm like, wait, what did I miss? So I went back and watched it again. I was like, oh. I'm an idiot. Like, I get it now. That's what he was using. And Crosshair set up all of them to, to take them all out. So there was yes. some great bits. There was some really confusing bad bits. Um, I want to be at four and a half, but it's a three and a half. Um, half. I'm the complete opposite. I didn't think there was confusing bits at all. I thought it was really good. They gave us answers to some things. They let us still question some other things like, even when they gave us the answers, they were kind of like, they gave us the answer of Omega. But they didn't give us the full answer. They also yeah. officially announced the second season at the same time. So now we're not going to have the Sid running around town anymore, right? Like, they gave us the out where this, this portion can end. Well, there is a season I, I two. Just, what's that? <laughs> there is a season two. We don't know that for sure. Yeah. Well, there is a season. Well, they said there was. I didn't mention it. They are back on Martell at the beginning of this episode. Yeah, yeah. Our so man, we're going to get man. a season two. Either way, um, I th and this is going to be a two-parter, so I think we're going to see the outcome of it. And yeah, yeah. I, I, I am disappointed because I don't think we're going to get the war. I think, and I know there's other planets or there's other cities, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they kind of gave you the final on that too, that they got everything they needed, they're done with it. So that kind of stinks. I do hope now they get more in the action, and now they start chasing down the Empire and figuring out what they do. Go back, see a little Rex, see a little Wolf. We've got one more episode, so that's good. But I got to give it a four. All in all, like questions were answered. Some questions that they probably shouldn't have answered because we want to want you know we want to make it still good. Like, did you really want? I mean, I know Jedi's wife wants you know crosshair turned back good and everything like that. But now the whole season where we wanted more crosshair and him to truly be an antagonist, he is. He does not. Well, I mean, I don't know what he's going to do because they know. got him. So, but they got him. But like, what are you going to do with him? He doesn't want to be in your team. And now well, he can't go back to the Empire. That's the really weird thing, like to like VK VK's comment there about the communal uprising and Crosshair keeping his crew. I, did anybody catch that was his plan all along, right? Was basically to off his own current elite squad crew or whatever and use the Bad Batch as his new crew in the Empire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that so, would have been yeah, that would have been cool. So he wants to join with them, but he just wants them to join with him rather than him go back to them. Thanks a lot, Ronnie. We really appreciate it. Ronnie gave us five dollars in the super chat. This is him. <laughs> guys, you gotta read it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. You guys must have big money from all the crack -a -lack you're on. If you think this is worth that 80% of Star Wars fans will never be able to experience this. You're not wrong. Hey, no. hey, he's not wrong. I didn't say hey, look, I didn't say it was wrong. I just said like when you take when you take to affect what things cost. It's not that far yeah. off the realm, right? Yeah. And I'm not even I'm not even not to not to rehash this topic that we already went in the weeds on. I'm not saying it's necessarily worth it as far as like is it worth the experience? Because I don't know. I haven't been on the experience. But at the same time, I still think people will pay it. It probably yeah. won't oh, be I us. Agree. Oh, oh, people oh, don't people pay will it. pay it. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Anyways, but this is the thing. Like, I agree with VK. Like, look, I do want, I mean, I wanted that was the first thing I told yeah. like Shannon. The first and second thing was like, man, I really wanted the battle. That would have been cool. I think yeah. I just think now you're advancing the storyline. It really like as much as we had that little stop point where we were like, they did give us one that I will argue is just a complete filler episode. Yeah. The others could have been a little bit of story building, but they just killed it with this episode. It was great story building. Pacing was good. You did have like Solo said times where you're like, did I catch that right? And if you didn't, you rewinded it. If you caught it and were like, yeah, cool, yeah. let's go on with it. You did. But then like there was little small parts where like, even he says, like, they're mirror. Like, at first, I was like, the hell are they looking at? And then all of a sudden, he did it. I was like, oh, shit, he put up the mirror. <laughs> yeah, you I'm know what glad I mean? it like, wasn't just me, because, man, I felt so no, dumb you, when I went back and watched and I was like, like, I felt that? like it just happened naturally. Like, Crosshair doing, like, I wasn't surprised at all. Like, it just No, like, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't right. out of like, place. Like, None but of I didn't feel like it was also telegraphed completely either. It just, 
flowed naturally. The story just that's what I'm naturally. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like when they you saw it. the mirror thing, you're like, what is it? Then he did it, and you're like, that makes sense. Like they did tell makes a, sense. They did everything. telegraphic slightly when the the guy disobeyed him and told him negative, like because mm-hmm. he told that's him to, at first he told him to stand down, like he wasn't gonna kill him. Yeah, it seemed that way yeah. at least. Yeah. And then the guy was like, negative, we're gonna kill these guys anyways, and that's when he offed him, which made yeah. me wonder at the same like what have these guys like not seen so far where like, didn't this already happen once and crosshair shot the guy right in front of you? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you right, probably right. not disobey. Yeah, probably but... shouldn't disobey him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, all in all said, like I said, I mean, you think, did I give it ranking already? Yeah. Four. Yeah. yeah I mean, like that's good. It's good. I hope the next one's just as good. And then we get whatever else they're going to roll out after that. Um, there should be some cool stuff up. Let's get into odds and a trap real quickly. Cause right. last segment. Yep. Yep. Super quick. It's a short one. <laughs> I want my right off what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Super chat. Roddy, get, Roddy, thanks again for the $5 super yeah. chat. But you are getting everybody riled up right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so real quick, we're going to go back and revisit a theory with a little why, bit of a twist on it. That's <laughs> right. Because <laughs> that's what I do. And I had to do it quick. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, um, so we had the theory, I don't know, it was like a month or so, maybe a little bit longer, about you know whether or not you know the squad that we see in Crosshair, whether it's going to be Scar Squadron or Death Troopers. And I forget what everybody cited on because I don't remember that much. But if we go to the next slide, I, I have an interesting theory regarding someone that got away in this episode. So hmm. The one that got away. Are we on the next slide? I yes, can see we it. are. Next yes, slide. Yeah, we're on the next slide. So let me pull it up on my phone real quick. But basically, ESO2 escapes, as we all know, in the... Um, this episode and she was the one that still seemed in command at least i mean she was the one that talked to rampart and as she got on the ship you saw regular stormtroopers and it looked like we don't know for sure but it seems like everybody else in that squad is dead and i think we're yeah. all safely assuming yeah i think so yeah, yeah. I, I mean we're agreeing on that. so when it comes to that the question is to me these guys have always reminded me of death troopers a little bit because even there's that one scene even in this episode where you see them protecting Rampart, and that was kind of a thing we saw Death Troopers do a lot for mm-hmm. Kernick and these other guys, was, mm-hmm. you know, protecting high level. Yeah, the security force. Yeah. yeah, and then um, you also had the uh, uh, the fact that we did see in Rebels the one female Death Trooper leader that I think is it Kanan or Ezra takes out. I think it was Ezra, right? I don't think I remember that back in that episode, but in which way there was a Death Trooper that tried to stop him, and I think it was Ezra or somebody got the drop on him and knocked him out. <laughs> which happens to happens to her in this episode by an annoying droid. Right. But, uh, you know, to me, there's could she involve into that female death trooper leader? Could these guys be the death troopers going forward as far as like an elite squad of security? OK. And then our next slide, we kind of went over also the Scar Squadron connection mm. earlier. And yeah. the question is, so there's one female Scar Squadron member, or at least that we know is female, which is Misty, which is the sniper. Mm -hmm. And she carries a long rifle, or at least seems like a longer rifle than normal that has a scope on it in this episode, Mm -hmm. which makes me wonder. She's also trained by probably the best sharpshooter in the empire, at least at this point. And you gotta wonder, is there a connection there? Does she end up in, not leading necessarily, but does she end up in Scar Squad? Or is Scar Squad still going to be a thing? And there's also the issue of, we never figured out whether or not when Creel talks about the commander of that squad, he never mentioned their gender. He just said they had a commander before me. So, so you think instead, so the question is, is it her instead of, then why would she be, why would she be underneath him? Underneath who? Creel? Underneath Creel, yeah. Uh, well, because Creel's awesome, but <laughs> awesome because, <laughs> I mean, well, don't forget. Awesome, but like, well, he, he said there was a previous commander. She could be dead at that yeah, point. It's also, maybe she's not that sniper. It Maybe it's just... Oh, yeah. You're, so you're not saying she's Missy. Well. Okay, you're saying yeah, it's... Yeah, okay. Well, I'm saying there's a possibility she's Misty, but maybe she trained Misty, or maybe, you know... Exactly. Yeah. So, that's, I, that's I got. the closing question is, you know, whether or not... If anybody else besides me thinks there's a small chance, even an inkling, don't forget, never tell me the odds, <laughs> that she could be in the death troopers or in task force 99, or this is all just made up hooey on my part. And I'm crazy. I think she could be one of the death troopers. Uh, the scar thing. No, that's not that's how you explained it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you I didn't both, you get both options going that route. You get either scar or death trooper. Yeah. Yeah. So I've never tell me the odds. Yep. I'm also <laughs> never telling the odds on death trooper. I think she could probably even be that, you know, there's a lot of throwbacks in Filoni stuff from stuff that Filoni did earlier. And, 
Rebels takes place in the future from this, so you know she could be that female Death Trooper commander we well, see, or I mean, even like with the long rifle, like some of the Death Troopers, you know, do have it. So, yep, I got it. All right, Pete, what do you got? I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna say it's a trap. I think these guys are just gonna be cannon fodder. Maybe we get Death Troopers, and uh, maybe we get Scar Squadron eventually, but. I don't know. This crew, they're apparently not investing a lot in if they could be off that quickly by uh, Crosshair. Sure, she made it through, but I still don't know that's a guarantee she lasts much longer past mm -hmm. this uh, first season. Yeah. All right, Solo, what do you got? I, I think I got to go never tell me the odds. I like the uh, tie-in with the long rifle. It seems to make sense. It's uh, cohesive to timeline. And, uh, I mean, the two best answers, Star Wars. <laughs> and now JJ's new addition, because she's awesome. Yep, that's right. Although she get knocked out by Az, so yeah. Know. Exactly. How awesome is she? Got she knocked out by a, by a filing. Sh Shannon, you want to weigh in? Yeah, I just I I'm with Pete. It's trap. It's just it's fodder. It's you know there's too many what ifs there. It's I just don't think it would happen. Yeah, I don't think you should throw it in the scar portion because that one's so far. Well, I had to make it more than two slides, Marco. Okay. Oh yeah, fair enough. All right, all right, all right. All right. I think that one's completely. It's a trap. I, I, I really like the death. I really like the death trooper. Like I'm just visualizing them. Like wow, that makes a heck of a. There's lot. a lot of similarities there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Question is, will she carry death sticks? Will she carry death? <laughs> Maybe we'll just sell them in the future. <laughs> oh, hey, that was we'll a question. Be like, you don't want to sell me death sticks. <laughs> so, who, who was it? Somebody posted on IG to ask a question, and it was like, uh, which character in the comics do you guys like better? Uh, is it, and you guys can put this below because we're going to get off here in a minute. Is it death sticks or loom pop, right? I know somebody said we haven't seen much of either one, but that was yeah. kind of an interesting thing, too. Do you like the direction that they're going with those two characters? Um, and somebody said, well, it's way too early. I get it's way too early, but who cares? So put it below, everybody. We appreciate everybody being on. Uh, we really do. Thank you very much. The 44 that stayed with us the whole time, all the way up to the 68 that were on originally. Um, but down below, tell us if you like those two narrative characters and tell JJ that you can just have two slides sometimes. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> sometimes less is more. Sometimes less is a lot more. One of those was the title slide, so. <laughs> <laughs> counts. They all count. Hey, Jedi, we'll see you next week, brother. <laughs>